All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. Please invite your friends, and let us today uh, talk about the crucifixion of Jesus. You know, uh, Muhammad as uh, or Qatham ibn Abdullah, uh, the the founder of the cult of Islam, claimed that Jesus was not crucified, but it was made to appear to be. And then you will find tons of Muslims trying to explain and trying to give us uh, all the uh, propaganda about what happened. And you know, like. Uh, why Muslims don't believe that Jesus wasn't crucified just because Muhammad says so. So look at this madness of this cult. A person who never met Jesus, he don't speak even the language of Jesus. He is not even from the people of Jesus that the Quran explained that Jesus was sent to the Jews. But yet a person who never met Jesus, he never able to read the Bible, yet he is a person will tell the Muslims, what happened to Jesus in the time of Jesus? You see, if you, in Islam, if somebody borrow $10, he have to bring two witnesses to prove it. $10, a dollar. You have to bring two witnesses to prove it. Muhammad talking about a crucifixion of a person, his name is the Christ. And he have no witness for what he said. And the Muslim, they take it blindly. In Islam, if you want... To prove somebody committed adultery, you have to bring four witnesses. Four living witnesses, not dead. People who saw what happened, and not only that, they have to see the, they have to, to see the private part of the male going inside, excuse my language, the female. Not just he is like naked and she is naked in the bed, no. They have to see the private part getting in and out. The four of them, they have to see it. When it comes to Jesus, nobody asks Muhammad, actually when it comes to anything, nobody asks Muhammad, where he get this from? You ask a Muslim, where, where is the proof that Jesus was crucified? They say to you, in the, in the Quran, put it up. In the Quran, chapter 13, chapter 13, chapter 13. The Quran, chapter 13, chapter 13. Well, the Quran is a made man, made by one man. There's no witnesses for anything. Give me a proof. We have historian who registered the death of Jesus from all countries around the world who they are not Christians. We have the Jews and even the Quran confirmed that this has happened. This is how stupid the one who come with this story. You know, before I, I start, I was looking for a video to play. So, I'm oh, sorry. Uh, so I can use for like Instagram. And I found a video of Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik, he is saying, was Jesus beat upon him, really crucified? And then they get him a Christian who do not know anything about the Bible. And I, I believe those all, you know, like they ask people to give questions and they choose, you know, they choose their cherry who is going to be able to talk, you know, because suppose there's like more than 10,000 people there and they choose somebody. He does not know anything about Christianity. So he said to him that in Matthew number, number, chapter number 12, Jesus, he said that he will be the same as Jonah in the belly of the fish. And then he said to the guy, was uh, Jonah and the fish uh, dead or alive? The guy, he said alive. He said, Jesus in the grave, was he dead or alive? He said, he was dead. He said, this is how this is then fulfill the prophecy of Jesus. Because Jonah was alive, Jesus was dead. And here you see how those cowards, they try to fabricate different meaning from what the Bible says. Jesus, he did not say, I will be alive like Jonah. He said he mentioned that three days and three nights. This is this is this is the this is what he's talking about. So the same as Jonah was inside the fish for three days, three nights. This is what happened to Jonah. Jesus will be inside the ground for three days and three nights. He is not comparing between him will be dead and that, that person will be alive. And if you read the same chapter, you will see that Jesus is speaking about his death. Because simply he is talking about his resurrection. When a Muslim, he caught for you a verse from the Bible, never let the Muslims play with you. He said to this person, if there is anywhere in the Bible, Jesus says, I am going to be crucified and die. Well, there is tons of verses. But this Christian, he do not know. He says, yeah, it says that, but I don't know how to quote it. The liar, he claimed that Jesus, not a single once, he said he will be crucified and he will be killed. When we have, you can go right now, you do not need me. Go to Google, type verses about Jesus said he will be crucified. In Google, you will find tons of them. 
So look how they lie openly, claiming that there is nowhere in the Bible Jesus said he will be crucified. And he claimed, okay, well, Jesus was, uh, the Bible says they put a spear in his uh, chest. Okay, uh, and what the, what the Bible says about uh, after that, what happened? <laughs> you are in the cross, you have nails in your feet, you have nails in your hand, and then you have a spear in your chest. And yet he is not dead. It's like an American movie. Where Sylvester Stallone, he take 20 bullets and still he is uh, smoking a cigarette. Can you believe how much those people are hypocrite and they promote lies? You are defending the idea just because Muhammad says so, not because what you are saying is convincing. I cannot find one Muslim he claimed to be a person of knowledge ever speak the truth. It's impossible. It's a mission impossible. As long as you are mentioning to me, Matthew, well, isn't it in Matthew that it says that Jesus, after three days pass, he was resurrected from the grave and even they spoke to him? And you are saying to the guy, where it says that? Where in the Bible it says that? So you quote Matthew 12 about Jonah and you explain it as you wish. And you say to the Christian person who is obviously naive, you do not know much about Christianity. This is why they have them behind the microphone. Where in the Bible it says that he, Jesus said, I will die. Where he said that? Oh, the Bible in front of you. Here the angels are speaking to them. Fear not, for I know that you seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. And he said, Come, see the place where the Lord lay. Where in the Bible it says, hmm? And then we will find that later, Jesus, he himself appeared to them and he speak to them himself not the angel this time then said jesus into them be not afraid go tell my brethren that they go into the galilee and there they will see that they shall see me and the coward he says where where in the bible it says that jesus is, and jesus he protect the who is the one who will uh, 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 you know, will betray him. Jesus uh, protect well even the hour of death. Jesus protect for how many days will be in the in the in the in the tomb. All of this, Jesus did not say anything about his crucifixion. It's amazing how they lie. About what the Bible teach, isn't it in the same in the same book of Matthew in chapter twenty? It says that on the day he will be rise to life, and that in verse number you know nineteen. In the day he will be rise to life, rise from where? So the 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 example of Jonah, Jonah was alive. The example, or the, let us say, the similarity between Jonah and what happened to Christ is the three days, three nights. And it's a miracle in the same time. Because to be alive for three days, three nights inside a whale, that is a miracle. And to come back to life, which means after you, people lost hope in you because you should be dead by now, this is a miracle. Jesus saying, for three days, three nights, I will be in the belly of the earth. As what? As dead. And he mentioned that clearly. Never take a verse of Bible from an 
pagan person who kiss a black stone to explain to you your book. They have nothing to do with our book and they can't explain it. And you will notice that those cowards only they are willing to argue with somebody he do not know anything about the Bible to the point he cannot even quote a verse this person in the behind the microphone he don't even remember a verse so they choose those people in purpose Behold, we go to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall be betrayed into the chief priest and into the scribe, and they shall condemn him to death. To what? To death. And then he shall be risen again. Liars, liars will end in fire. Just wait for the judgment day when the Messiah come, all of you. Remember, even in the cult of Islam, in the yellow pages of Muhammad, Jesus will be the judge in the judgment day. So you will stand in front of him and you will be questions and you will be pain for your crimes. They have no dignity, they have no shame. And anything they say is just to defend Muhammad. One man, one man statement. The Muslim law is always based on few things. Like, show me one verse in the Bible that says, Jesus said, I'm God, worship me. And then you show them, they say, we don't accept it. Show me where Jesus, like now, Zechariah saying, show me, okay, can you show me a verse where Jesus says, I will be, I will be dead? You show them, they won't accept it. They don't accept the whole Bible anyway. But I find that the most funny argument the Muslims have is Muhammad argument, which is that Allah, he made Jesus appear in the cross to be killed. And here how, and this is how we can get someone like this busted because he just insulted as a prophet. Why? Because he's a prophet. He did not say that Jesus was in the cross. His prophet did not say that they hit him with the spear. His prophet did not say that he was injured but was not killed. His prophet, he said it was made to appear to them. So Zakir Naik, he denied the Quran. He accused his prophet to be a fraud. And I agree with him. And he fabricated his own story. He became like the Ahmadiyya, where they say that uh, the Messiah, yes, they, they put a spear in his chest. But then he escaped and he went to India. And then there he was married for three years. Jesus became married for three years. Yes, brother. And after he became married for three years, then he became back Jesus Ahmad Mirza Gula. Just another scam, another liar. If you remember, a few days ago, uh, we have are Muslims who they call us to explain to us what happened in the grave if you remember right and they gave me a very very solid answers which you cannot even believe how smart it is I will play some of it for you just to refresh your memory Let us see. Mute, mute YouTube, please. Mute YouTube. Hear me from Skype only. Mute YouTube. Hello? Yes, you are live on air, my friend. What do you like to say to us? You are a Muslim, right? Mr. Osman? Yeah. All right. What do you like to say to us? Go ahead. Our topic is the crucifixion of Jesus. Did your prophet say anything about Jesus' crucifixion? Yeah, I wanted to say that, Yari. The Quran, hmm. 
No, I don't... says, uh, وَمَا okay. وَمَا صَلَبُهُ وَلَا إِنْشُبِّهَا لَهُمْ Okay, so you speak Arabic, that's wonderful. So what your prophet is about this verse? That's it? This is what this is what the Muslims have? It's just one verse about Jesus? That's it? Yeah, the, the verse says hmm. he was not killed and he was not crucified, but someone hmm. who was made similar to him was crucified. Okay, so that's the whole Islamic religion teaching about crucifixion of Jesus, that's it? Muhammad never said anything else? Yeah, the teaching is about yeah, Jesus was not crucified. Okay, but yeah, yeah, I'm, my friend Osman, 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 Osman my fine. friend, my friend Osman, listen, I'm asking you, did your prophet say anything additional to this verse? Zero, right? Uh, if uh, the prophet said anything, like hmm. apart from what the Quran says and what the Bible says, those things, yeah, I don't know. He never said but anything. This is what I know that he never said anything. He never, he never. That's why I'm saying. That's why I'm saying, Osman. I challenge any Muslim to show me anything your prophet said about this. So bringing me a verse saying Allah, he said that. Shouldn't you even explain the verse? Shouldn't Muhammad explain this verse to the Muslims because this verse is confusing? Let us, let us, me and you go over it. You just said that Allah, he made someone look it, like Isa in the cross, correct? Not in the cross. Uh, before we continue listening. Uh, uh, a Muslim, his name is a Christ, is just a man. This is this is how they insult Jesus. You see, uh, he said, "You are there lying again." Jesus said, three days and three nights." Tell us how this, how you get them between a Friday and night of Sunday, uh, my friend. Uh, that's because you are an idiot and you do not know Christianity. First of all, Jesus was not crucified on Friday. You are stupid like your prophet. You do not know how to read. You do not know how to write. And then you are coming here and you are telling us what happened to Jesus. Now, can you show me where it says in the Bible that Jesus was crucified on Friday? That is your stupidity. The Bible speak about second day is Sabbath. Sabbath is not Saturday. Sabbath is a holiday for the Jews. So the Jews, they have a Sabbath. They have a holiday. This is why they have to finish the crucifixion before the Sabbath started. But because you are a certified donkey, you think it was Friday. Not a single place in the Bible it says it was a Friday. Stupid idiot. Before why Muslim don't even do something? Before you before you open your mouth, go to Google and search. Was it Sabbath Saturday or was Sabbath holiday the day before Jesus was crucified or the day after Jesus crucified? You will see that this was a Sabbath holiday. Sabbath in the Hebrew is any day you designate to God have nothing to do with the word Sabbath only as a Saturday So anything is a holiday is Sabbath It doesn't matter what the day it can be Monday. It can be Tuesday. It can be Wednesday. It can any, any day in the week Is a designated day for God holiday? Religious holiday or even you designate for it. That is Sabbath. So this is your ignorant and you are a fool like your prophet Let's continue back with the video. Before he was crucified, before he went to the cross. In the Bible, Mark, uh, they say Simon of Siren. Hmm. In, the, in, the, in the Bible says what? Uh, Simon hmm. of uh, Siren. Yani, Simon of Siren. Uh -huh. And? That is the guy... Yani, the, the Roman soldiers that uh, told him, yani, take this cross for Jesus. See, this is another video of Zach and Naik. That this guy, the one who was crucified, is Simon the Siren. That's it. Why? Because he carried the cross for Jesus. Hmm. Here we go. We find solution. A guy, it says in the Bible that he carried the cross. Where it says that they capture, that, that they capture him, the guy is a free. He jumped there. I mean, look at the stupidity. There's a person is in the middle carrying a cross and there's thousands of people walking and soldiers are surrounding him and they are beating him and then a person who jumped in the front of the street and he carried the cross with him to help him the Muslim they say this is the person who was crucified I mean do you do you think that the, 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 the soldiers are stupid first of all Jesus was stripped from his clothes nobody in the crowd is stripped from his clothes <laughs> So how they will be confused about this guy and this guy? I mean, his stupidity is amazing. They are so desperate, trying to find a solution for what happened. Listen and love. 
he was the one who was crucified according to Mark. No, no, and no, 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 no. And, and, Mark, and, and look, and look, did you, did you hear what Jesus said? According to Mark, he was the one who was crucified. This is according to Mark, not according to him. So now they are claiming it's Mark who said that this person was crucified. <laughs> In Mark, it says that. <laughs> Mark it says it clearly that the Messiah, it says there, read that it says there that the Messiah was the one who died in the cross. But that's not the fabricated stories. You can read it and people will laugh at what you said, my friend. Don't copy paste. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, Mark 15 says like that. Yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, read for us, read for us. Okay, guys, Mark 15, Mark 15. Here you go. Mark, I will open Mark 15 and people will, you, know, you see, I'm trying to protect you from people uh, uh, laughing at what you are saying. But you are insisting. Okay, we will go. I will open. We'll put it on screen. Mark fifteen, no, guys. Says. Look at me, like I mean, it doesn't matter so much. No, it matters. Yeah, matter, my friend. No, no, it matters. When you say something, either it's a lie, or it's true. This is not a joke. You know, it's matter. But because what you are saying is some is something very funny, and not a single Christian. He, you know, all of us we have uh, uh, the Bible in front of us, and what you are saying is absolutely funny. So we're in the we're in the in the Mark 15. It says what you are saying. He carried the cross for him to help him. That's it. But that's it. The one who was crucified, it was the Messiah, the Lord. And then verse number 34 it says, at at the ninth hour, hmm? at the ninth hour, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ uh, can, would can allow. Can you open the, the verses or, or, or on the screen? Sure, so sure. Here we go. Them. Sure. Here we go. So we. No yeah, problem. Here we together. go. See, this is Mark sixteen, uh, Mark, uh, uh, Mark fifteen, the one you are talking about. You will see it says it clearly that they made fun of him because he, you know, he claimed to be the king of the Jews. Let Christ, the king of the, the Israel, descend and now from the cross. So who was on the cross? No, I can't see on my screen. No problem. You take going to take time to show it for you. So you can open the Bible in the internet if you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's showing. It's, okay, so uh, it's showing, so but so not the, so the verse the, that I'm okay, talking about. Okay, so they put him in the cross, huh? Mark uh, 15. Yeah, we know, we know the 15. Uh, no problem. To, okay, see, uh, Simon. Okay, Simon. He helped him to carry, to carry the cross. We got the story here. But who is the one who was in the cross? It was Jesus in front of you. And they put a sign says the King of the Jews. Who is the King of the Jews? And they say to him. Let the Christ, the King of the descend, descendant now, of, of uh, come from the from the cross. And then, when the six hours was uh, uh, was came or come, there was a darkness in the whole enter the nine hour, and and the ninth hour, Jesus cried. Who is the one who cried? Jesus cried with loud voice, saying, "Eli, Eli, lima shabaktani." So what you are saying is absolutely funny, and it's not really what the Bible says. So now we no, go. Is this not uh, how the Jews saw it? Okay, I think, so, uh, so the you, Jews saw like so, uh, it so, was like Jesus. Okay, that's so, why they wrote it like that. Okay, so you are saying now you are you are agreeing with the Quran that the Quran is saying that the Jews saw someone look like Jesus, correct? Yes, I agree with the Quran. Yeah. Okay. Quran, yeah. We'll go back to the Quran then. So what you said about the Bible is absolutely not true. So we go back to the Quran. Okay, so the Jews they saw someone look like Jesus. And yes. When the Jews in the Quran says we killed Jesus, they were lying or they were saying the truth? Uh, they were lying. But how you say they were lying if you just said they saw Jesus? If I saw Jesus, I'm not lying. No, it was uh, Simon of uh, Syrian according to, to the verses, uh, brother. I just showed you, it says Jesus, he cried in the cross and you are saying to me, Simon, what does Simon have to do with this? <laughs> Secondly, my friend, listen, listen carefully, focus with me. If you just said the no. Jews, they saw someone look like Jesus, right? That's what you said. I'm going with you. So yeah. if you are a witness in the court, do you say what you saw or you say what you did not see? Mm -hmm. So, so is the Quran lying by saying... Uh... Should be no, no, no. I'm trying to understand you as a Muslim first. Forget about lying. You are the one I, I said to you. When the Jews, they say we killed the Messiah. The Jews, they say we killed the Messiah. I ask you, did the Jews lie about killing the Messiah? You said yes. yes. So now I'm trying to explain to you that if the Jews, they saw the Messiah in the cross, that means we cannot accuse them of lying.
because this is what they saw. You see, the liar is someone he say something other than what he saw, correct? Uh -huh. So your accusation to the Jews that they are lying is not even smart. And Muhammad, okay, you're, the, you're a prophet by uh, saying that the, the Jews are lying. Muhammad came, huh? Okay, before the before Prophet Muhammad came, mm -hmm. their words would have been justified. But when Muhammad came and told them what was the truth about the crucifixion, they, they should believe it. No, 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 no. Forget about this now. Forget about this. I'm talking about the time in the cross. I was there. Let us say I was a Jew and me, my name is Jack Shalom. And then I was watching somebody in the cross and he was, he looked exactly like Jesus, as you said. Allah, he made the look of that, uh, of Christ on in that person. And I was there and I saw Jesus in the cross. And then you ask me, what did you see in the cross? I say, Jesus, how I, how in the world that will make me a liar? Yeah, of course, yeah, of course you will say it was Jesus. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, of course. Mm. But uh, where did uh, this Simon of Siren give back the cross uh, to Jesus again? It says where? there, you know, wait, 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 you see, they arrive, you see, we have four, uh, four Bibles and they complete the story for us. That's why we have four Bibles, not one. But if you read the verses there, you will see that uh, uh, he, because he was so tired, you know, it, uh, uh, he, they, they are... Uh, uh, they are humiliating him. They are uh, 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 doing all kind of crazy stuff against him, and the and the cross is so heavy, and he have to carry it all the way to the mount. And this is why this person he felt he need to help, and he jumped to help. But he is not the one to be crucified. Why he will be crucified anyway? I mean, is is the criminal? I mean, imagine imagine how funny your story. I have listen 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 listen. listen. Him to help. First of all, no, first of all, Jesus is the only one is stripped from his clothes. They allow him only to wear what is supposedly like uh, to, to cover his private part. So there is no way for misunderstanding. The guy, he did not jump in his swimming suit. The guy is wearing his clothes, all of them. And the, and the soldiers, there is hundreds of soldiers. And you are telling me the guy who carried the cross, he became Jesus. So look how funny your story. You Muslim, you fabricate something is not in the Bible. Making it to no, making it. I, I don't ma think it's funny. I don't think it's funny. It's funny like, because because how how okay. I, I want to ask you. Okay, I am I am. Let us say I am this I am this person as uh, Simon. I jump to carry the cross. What happened next? You tell me. I'm listening. You say what? You are saying Simon. This guy Simon. He is the one who was crucified. Okay, tell me how what happened. I am Simon. I saw Jesus carrying the cross. I jumped to help him. And now what happened next? You are the Muslim who knows everything. Tell us what happened. Okay. Simon carried the cross uh -huh. until the Golgotha, the place where they, 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 they used to crucify people. Okay. And then they crucified him. Hmm. But he don't, but this is not Jesus. How they will crucify him? Now we have two Jesus. If, 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 if Allah, he made Simon look like Jesus that now, now we have two Jesus. <laughs> but yani, yani, like why should uh, God yani, the father why should he crucify Jesus yani, no, no, don't, don't change topic Christ. don't change topic don't change topic why 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 it's not God the father who crucified Jesus it was the Jews Wait. don't don't be don't be funny why did God they crucify Jesus no it was the Jews my friend the Roman soldiers so don't change the topic uh -huh. so now we have according to your story according to your story the, the, the fabricated story because your prophet by the way none of those uh, scholars they say what you just said you're copying this from muslim website aren't you because not even a single website says that this is a guy his name is simon the muslim they have different names oh, so it is not from muslim website you, so where where, from... where do you get this from where do you get that this guy simon is the one who became jesus where do you get this from can you show me an islamic scholar who say that no, it's not from an Islamic scholar. So this is fabrication from your own? No, uh, it's Mark 15 and Matthew. Wait, 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 Matthew, uh, Matthew is in front of you. It's, uh, first, it's not Matthew. You told me it's Matthew. Mark. Yeah. It's like, 27, it's, verse 32. Uh, my, friend, my friend, here we go. Even like, you know, you, you see you see how funny the Muslims, guys? I mean, we showed him the verse. It says it clearly. They let the Messiah, the King of Israel, come down. They are talking to the Messiah. They are not talking to Simon. And then in the Bible it says in the same chapter the death of the of Yeshua at the hour at the twelfth noon darkness was in the earth until the third hour and then at the at the, at the third hour the Messiah Yeshua he screamed saying Eli Eli lima shabaktani who is the one who was screaming the Messiah it says in the front of you 
Mm, so his God yani abandoned him, huh? <laughs> no, he's quoting a prophecy from the Old Testament about him because they said that the, the true Messiah, when he is going to be crucified, they will strip him from his clothes, the bones will not be broken, etc. There's many prophecy about the cross, and he will say that sentence. So the Messiah quoting what is mentioned in the Bible in the Old Testament to prove that this is him. Here we go. This is why he said at the end it's completed. Now we go back to the topic. Allah, he made someone look like Jesus. Correct? Yeah, I think okay. so. Okay, I think so. Okay, that's wonderful. Now, who is the one is lying? The Christians, the Jews, or Allah? Yeah, uh, but bro, I cannot see like any proof like to refute this ayah, bro. You have no proof to refute this ayah. Forget about the proof now. Let us use your logic. I'm, I'm sure you are smart, intelligent, and then I want to learn from you today. You know, I'm your student today. If I see you in the cross, God forbid, or me in the cross, I am witnessing for what I saw. That's mean I am not lying. Now, the one who made someone look like Jesus is the cheater. Because he did cheat on us, he lied to us, and he made someone look in the cross like the one we are killing. So Allah is a liar. This is what you are saying to me. You are saying to me, Allah, he did lie to the Christians and the Jews. He made them see someone look like Jesus, but it's not Jesus. And then the Christians and the Jews, they thought this is Jesus. And because this, they thought this is Jesus, because this is what they saw, they wrote in their book, we saw Jesus crucified. So the Christian, the Bible, the, this verse in the Quran, proving to us that there is not a single lie in the Bible about the story of the crucifixion, because you just admitted, and the Quran admitted, and Muhammad admitted, that Allah, he would someone look like Jesus. So in the book of Mark, or Luke, or, or, or John, etc., when it says that we saw Jesus in the cross, they are not lying. They are telling the truth because this is what they saw. But according to Muslim, what they saw, it was a lie made by Allah. For Allah is the biggest liar in history. What do you say? Uh, no, let me, no, 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 it's, it's, it's no, it's not like that, bro. Mm -hmm. You just said to me, uh, what do you mean not like that? You just said to I, I me. Said already, Ani, but, uh, my friend, my friend, my friend, prophet, if yeah. I give you, if yeah, I give yeah, you, okay, talk, listen, listen, Os Dubai. Osman, Osman, if I give you a fake yeah. dollar, if I give you a fake dollar, look like the real dollar, am I yeah. a cheater or yeah, I am an no honest problem. man? There is no problem with that, but when you are told that this is the real dollar, right, you should be able to accept that this is the real dollar. Who is accept that a guy, he came 600 years after to tell us that he never saw the dollar. <laughs> Did Muhammad even meet, meet yeah. Jesus? He never met Jesus. He never saw Jesus. He don't even speak the language of Jesus. And yet, after six hundred years, to say this is not Jesus, isn't it funny? Yeah, I don't think he. I don't think he's funny. Why well, it's not the, funny? Because I, prophet, you see, in, in order, in order for like me. So what? You, you know, for, okay, first of all, as long as all the ways were coming from the same God, it doesn't matter like how many years. No, like, no, 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 no. Hold on, because because you, you see, in the beginning, I asked you if there is any explanation your prophet he gave. You said nothing. So Muhammad, he have no idea what he's talking about. He made a fabrication. Mm -hmm. You know, saying no, that it was the resemble. What I is the know. proof, my friend? Yeah. What is yeah. the proof? If you, in order to make something people can believe, you have to give me a proof. Do Muhammad have any proof that the one was in the cross, not Jesus? Zero. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I can say to you, hold on, no, because now this is, can cause a problem. I can say you to that Muhammad, the one who came to the Arab in Mecca, this is not the real Muhammad, this was a clone. I can say that this is, was John Travolta. And Allah make him look like Muhammad. What do you mean, no, no? I, I come, I came, okay, I came after 1400 years from Muhammad, and now I will say to you that Muhammad was not Muhammad, this was Mr. Trump. People will laugh at me, people will laugh at me because I have to prove it. Muhammad, he came 600 years after Christ, okay. and then he say okay. what he say, what is the proof? I know you are a Christian, but you are a Muslim scholar. You are a scholar about Islam, okay? Hmm. Like what the, did the prophet say? Like if you have any hadith or because for me I'm a Muslim, but I don't know any what the prophet said about. Your the prophet, your prophet, he's, 
Europe, yes. Europe profit. Okay, we will stop this guy. You see how they are in trouble. They are just promoting an idea which is proving Islam to be stupid. That Jesus was not Jesus. Now look, look what happened. To make it simple, Ibrahim said, "Sir, the one in the cloth, he was a Jesus, but he looked like Jesus, and he looked exactly like Jesus. But in fact, it's not Jesus, because Allah He took the real Jesus, and Allah He put the fake Jesus, and now the fake Jesus was in the cloth, but the fake Jesus is not the real Jesus because He looked like Jesus, but put the thing is Jesus." So it's not Jesus who was in the cross because it's in the fake Jesus who looked exactly like Jesus. And this is because Jesus, he looked like Jesus. So now we do not know which one is Jesus. And Allah, he took the real Jesus to Babylon. What? What, what? Real Jesus, fake Jesus. So now we have two Jesus. And who is the one who made fake Jesus? Allah. So now we have two Jesus, the real Jesus and the fake Jesus. And Allah saved the real Jesus. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a committee? There's an idiot in that in the chat. He's saying he can debate me. All right, Abdul, I will open sky for you. Is he still there? He said, "Why well, you are playing a debate?" Well, this is why just three days ago, and why not? You Muslim, you change your answers in two days? Like Muhammad? In the morning he says something, afternoon he says something else? Here we go. My Skype is open. <coughs> Who is the Muslim? Tell me what happened to Jesus. Anyone? Who is a Muslim? Wanna call us and tell us what happened to Jesus? Anyone? If it's okay, if it's ultimate fault, no problem. You know, let us let us let us have fun. Ultimate fault, call me. Ultimate fault, he have the answer for this. An ultimate fault who, who explained the Quran according to his own, and he explained anything he want. He have his own. You know, this guy is is a, is a prophet by himself. He knew everything. He didn't accept even his prophet statements. He's a prophet of Nigeria. The scam business. Are you there, Ultimate Fort? Who is a Muslim want to call me? Tell me what happened to Jesus on the cross. Anyone? So we open sky for nothing? What happened to this hero? Hello? Hello, hello, Christian Trench. How are you, my friend? Hello? Yes, I hear you. Yes, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I have a question to you, Christian Trench. Okay, are you a Muslim first, my friend? No, I am Christian, but I, uh, I am <coughs> uh, following your video in YouTube. Okay. I have one question to you okay. about uh, Muhammad Ibn Aisha from Surat, uh, from what is from uh, Hadis Hadis Anisa chapter. Uh, hello, JP. My friend, just tell me what do you want. I'm listening. Okay, give me, give me, video. give me, okay, give me the question in, te in text and I will answer you. Okay, as long as you don't remember it, all right? Oh. Thank you. I yeah, guess we say Muslims, we need Muslims to call us. Uh, let us see here, we have a Muslim, I think. Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Hey, Ultimate Fart, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I glad, I'm glad that you recognize yourself now officially as Ultimate Fart. That's wonderful. So what do you want to say to us? 
Yeah, I want to prove to you that uh, you they're just lying to Christians, lying on the Bible, mm. lying on the Quran. Mm. Okay, tell us. No, go ahead. All right, we talk about we, we talk about the about the crucifixion, right? Mm. Yeah. What happened to the who was, cruci who was the crucified? Tell us. Go ahead. I'm listening. All right, we're gonna go. First of all, we're gonna we're gonna show the inconsistencies. Hmm. You just said uh, that Jesus was crucified on Friday, right? You, no, I did not say I that. Only one say. I said he was not crucified on Friday. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's what you said. Yeah. Okay. And uh, there are 680 people, Christian people, listening to you. Okay. And they just like that, and nobody saying nothing. Uh, he just said. Okay, and so it, 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 ultimate fault, ultimate fault. Listen, 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 listen. Either you speak like a man, go direct to the topic, or I will spank you, and then you will force me to hang up on you. You said you want to prove a point, go ahead. Don't uh, you say it and say, say, say. Speak like a man for one time in your lifetime. Can you, can't you be a man? Just say what you want to say. Okay, Jesus Christ, he was not crucified on Friday. Ultimate fault is going to get me busted. Everybody listen. The mic is yours. All right, uh, that, that Jesus was not crucified at all. That's what I'm here for. He was not crucified at, at all. Okay, well the, crucified on well, the, well, the, well, the Quran, the Quran, the Quran says the opposite. You are right. a liar. The Quran okay. says the opposite. The Quran said they never crucified, they, they never killed him, they never crucified. What happened? So, what happened please, in the Quran? What happened in the Quran? Me, okay, let me show you why he was, he was not crucified. Are you going to let me talk? Hmm. Go ahead. Okay, first of all, if you read John 20, 30 to 31, hmm. they, they, they're telling us why they wrote the Bible. Hmm. John is telling us in, in, in chapter 20, verse 30 and 31, hmm. that we are, we are writing this so that you may believe that Jesus is the Son of God first. Hmm. Hmm. That's, why John, that's why John is reading. Hmm. So if you go into John 20, verse 1, Hmm. Mary Magdalene goes there on Sunday more Sunday while it was still dark. Hmm. Sunday early while it was still dark. Hmm. The stone was removed from the entrance. Hmm. She ran and told and told Peter and the other disciple, which hmm. we don't know, the other disciple. Who was the other disciple? What hmm. does it mean? She told them they have stolen the body. Hmm. She, she, she never said that Jesus resurrected. Hmm. He said, she said, they have stolen the body. Mm -hmm. Open your book, John 20, hmm. verse 2. Hmm. In verse 3, Peter and the other ran to the tomb. Hmm. Peter, they looked around, they, they saw clothing, whatever, uh, trips and clothes, and they left. Hmm. Mary stood there by herself. All of a sudden, hmm. just two angels hmm. were, were in the tomb. At first, there was nothing in the tomb, and all of a sudden, and two angels were, were in the tomb. Hmm. I'm reading John. I'm reading John 10. I'm John 20, 10. Hmm. And then on, on 14, she, 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 she saw Jesus now. Hmm. She, she saw Jesus standing hmm. disguised as a gardener of the cemeteries. Disguised. Why were Jesus disguised? Hmm. So Jesus, she even didn't recognize Jesus. She was, Jesus had to, Jesus was had what? To Just, what, what? Jesus was no. what? Dis disguised? What? What disguised mean? Dis disguised as a gardener, as a gardener. Uh, uh, okay, okay. So now you are reading. Really okay. Gardener. So are you done? So she no, showed no, Jesus. No, what? No. And what Jesus I, says I, to I'm her? I'm going to show you. Okay. I'm going to show you now. And what is Jesus say to her? This is what John says. Hmm. This is what John says. Hmm. Now we're going to go to Matthew. Okay. If you go to no, no. Let us finish with, with John first. Does it, does, it, does it confirm in John? Let us finish one by one. No, does, no, it, does it confirm no, in John that I, Jesus, I, I he appeared to them and he is the one? My friend, did, did just one by did one. one. No, no, one by one. Why by one? You will continue. You will continue. Don't be like a kid. Okay, doesn't confirm in John okay, chapter 20. Does it confirm in John chapter 20 that Jesus was resurrected and she met him in person after resurrection? I am the one making a point. 
You can uh, let me my make friend, my point. I am, I am, okay, because I want to make no, it clear before we jump to the front. No, you, don't force me. You see, you are stupid as always as yes, a kid. Okay, no, 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 no. You have, you have to answer before That's we jump. We have, before we jump, before we jump. My friend, this is a conversation. It's not you, you telling me, and that's it. You continue. You mention something about John 20. Let's finish it. So, does it? No problem. Five, five hours, no problem. But you have to be consistent and you have to be a man. Be a man for one time in your life. Does it say in John 20 that Jesus was resurrected and you, you, he is the one who met Mary the Magdalena? Yes or no? No. Well, read again, you idiot. You just told me that Jesus, she saw Jesus. You just said that she saw Jesus and she thought he is the guard the garden person, right? And you just said, you just said that the disguised, disguised as a gardener. Okay. No, she thought he is the garden, the garden guy. <laughs> what did what did Jesus say? What he said to her. Go ahead. Her. Go ahead. She said, Don't touch me, cause I didn't go yet. Don't touch me. Yeah, I did not go to what sky, is... I did not go to heaven yet. He's in her. So then, so did he did he resurrect or not? He did not go to heaven. He resurrect, but he did not go yet. He did not go. He's still in earth. Don't, okay. you, don't you see? He okay. did not go. Go away. Okay, now let's move to. Now let me go to Matthew. You no, see no, no. Before you before, before you continue before before you continue. See, you Talk. No, That's I will let you talk. You, you, are, you, you, you No, no, no. Before you finish a chapter, John chapter 20, let me spank you with my five fingers and your big I ass. Nigerian boy, Nigerian boy. Does it say in verse number 17? Don't touch me. Don't hold me. I did not go up to the, to the Father, to your God. Does it say that? That's what I said. Okay. So he did not go up to heaven yet. This is not about his not resurrection. Resurrected, you idiot. Resurrection is about death. And the resurrection? resurrection is what your is resurrection? resurrection is about Stay coming back life, to right? resurrection is about coming back to life, not about going to heaven. Okay, then, then, <laughs> then, uh, then, why, why, why he saying that he did not go? If you resurrect, mm. you can. How can you touch somebody who who resurrect? Don't touch me. Mm. You you cannot touch somebody who 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 resurrect. How can you touch somebody who who resurrected? You can't touch them. What do you, you, what do you mean? No, 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 no. Because she is, she is a female, and he is saying to her, "Don't touch me. I did not go to up to my father yet. I am not coming back to you as the way I promised. I will come back to you in the judgment day. This is not the judgment day. So don't touch me. I did not go up to my father. The verse is so clear in the front of us. He did not go to heaven. So this is about him okay. still in earth. So he's resurrected now, and he is saying to her, "I did not go. Go where it says in the front of you." He did not go to my father. What is the father? What is the father? What is the father is in in heaven, right? Right. Okay. So he's confirming that he is resurrected. And don't touch me. I did not go there. So where? How you get the conclusion here that this chapter saying Jesus was not resurrected? If Jesus said don't touch me, that means that she could touch her, right? She could. Right. Yeah, she could. Yeah. She could, right? Yeah. If I say don't touch me, that doesn't you can't touch me. You but can. nobody can touch a resurrected body. Why you cannot? You can't because it's a, it's not physical. You stupid idiot. You can verse. Okay, hold on. You see, I, this is why I don't talk to you because you are a donkey. You, you are making up. Can you show me one reference in any? Hold on, hold on. Everybody will laugh at you. Can you show me one reference in any religion, even your your stupid religion, that if somebody is resurrected, nobody can touch him? You, you, you idiot! Is, is, you, no, you are not showing me. You are not showing me. You are a donkey. Isn't it Jesus who showed them the marks of his hand? Did, Je did Jesus? Did Jesus? Did Jesus give? Did Jesus gave his hand and he show him? Show them the mark mark of his of the nails in his hands no 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 not not there this is you you talk, you talking about about the upper room <laughs> we will go there we, uh, it's not the same i'm room, asking you this jesus situation. That, that was in the upper room my friend, was in the upper room. my Don't friend, your Bible. upper Don't room or not, you said nobody can touch, you said, you said nobody can touch, somebody is resurrected, you said that, now I'm asking you, and you, shut up, shut up donkey, shut up, and you said, this is not physical, right, you said this is not physical, but Jesus, he have wound in his hand, is that physical or not? I, uh, I said, uh, let me tell you. First of all, who was uh, crucified? But, 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 but answer when he showed them the when the he name. showed them the wound in his hand was that physical or not? It, 
It might look physical. It was not physical. Shut up, you son of Muta. Don't call me again, you donkey. It might look physical. Now you are going to make fiction stories. Donkey, this is why I don't, I don't have patience to talk to you. You cannot talk to this guy. It might be physical. Suddenly it, may be, it might be physical. A second ago it was not physical. Stupid donkey. So the chapter you quote for us is saying Jesus was crucified. So what the point? And the reason they want to jump from verse to verse, from chapter to chapter, because they want to play the game of a monkey. So they will, they will, you will, they don't want you to corner them. And no, 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 no. Before you go, before you go. And if she did not touch him, that means he is not resurrected. Because if a person is resurrected, and you, and, and look, and look how stupid they are. He just said, if he is really resurrected, you cannot touch him. Right? Where do you get this from? <laughs> Let us see. We have another Abdul. Answer Abdul. Trying to reach is currently unavailable. Yeah, he's doing uh, muta. Who's next? Can you find me one smart Muslim, copy paste, follower of uh, uh, Rashad Khalifa, the Messenger of Allah, the one who exposed Muhammad? You cannot find one. It's a mission impossible. Suddenly, they want to explain our Bible to us. And they cannot explain their Quran. Suddenly they became expert in the Bible. You cannot touch somebody as resurrected. You cannot. You cannot. That's it. Uh, hello? Hello? Okay, bad internet. Please, only Muslims can call us. If you are a Christian, don't call. Who's next? The madness of the cult of Islam is getting busted big and fat. Their Quran saying that they crucified him not, but what was appeared to them. They are willing even to go against their Quran. Any Muslim? Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Um, uh, I'm an ex UCD. It's an Islam sect. Or? Sorry, I don't understand what. Is is yes, it is an Islam sect or not? I have no idea what you are saying. Is yesterday what? No, yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. They follow yes, it is Ibn Mahawi. My friend, I don't know. Is it Ibn Mahawi? Yeah, what does have to do with my topic, my friend? Uh, I won't know. This is an Islam sect and every group. Yeah. Just go. Focus with me. Otherwise, don't call me. Secondly, you have to be a Muslim. Any Muslim? Anyone? Any half one? Not a single one of them he can explain the stupidity of the Quran. That there's a God who made people think that this is Jesus was on the cross, but it was not Jesus. And we adopt, if we adopt this story, that means we cannot even believe Muhammad was Muhammad because this, maybe this was somebody who looked like Muhammad, but that's not Muhammad. And Mary is not Mary because somebody looked like Mary. And Christian prince is not a Christian prince, someone looked like a Christian prince. 
This is how a corrupt false man, he, his name is Qatham, the son of Abdullah, he could not accept that Jesus was crucified, so he had to fabricate a lie saying it was made appear to it like him. And why God want to do that such a thing? If you want to save Jesus, well, he can save Jesus. Jesus is really saved. He's not in the cross anyway. You do not need to make someone else like, look like him. And now if we accept such a story, that means we cannot accept and we cannot believe in God anymore. Because this God, especially Allah, we are talking about Allah, if he is God, he is not trustworthy. He's a liar. He's a fabricator. He's a cheater. Because everything we saw, maybe it's not real. Satan is not Satan. It was a clone. Jesus is not Jesus. Muhammad is not Muhammad. Mary is not Mary. Jibreel is not Jibreel. Do you see how the stupid story is going to end where? And not only that, by the way, Muhammad, he claimed that even Shaitan, he came to him in the image of Jibreel. Jibreel. He, 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 he admit that Shaitan, his name is the Abiyad. He came to him in the image of Jibreel. So now Jibreel can be cloned. Even the angel of God can be cloned. Not only Jesus was cloned. And as long as Jibreel can be cloned, now, how we can trust Allah that he send us anything? Because anyone can clone the messenger of Allah. You see, cloning Jibreel is more dangerous than cloning a paper. Why? Because this is the one, the only one who delivered to Muhammad his message, Islam. All of Islam came from Jibreel. And Muhammad admit that Jibreel came to him, but it was Shaitan. Shaitan who cloned Jibreel. So how we knew which one is the real Jibreel now? How we will find out? He asked if Yazidi is an Islamic sect. No, Yazidi are not Islamic sect. They have nothing to do with Islam. Muhammad, he copied from them, yeah, the Sabian. The origin of those, all this religion there is a Sabian. Muhammad, he copied many things from them, like the abolition, but they are not Islamic sect. So do you understand guys as long muhammad he agree that shaitan he came to him in the look of jibreel so how we can trust allah this allah he cannot protect his own messenger image to the point satan he can clone jibreel and then what satan he did shaitan according to the quran he throw in the mouth of muhammad falsehood he throw false quran so how we can trust the Quran after that? The Quran have a verse saying, whatever shaitan he throw, Allah will take it off. How we knew that this verse itself is not from shaitan? As long as shaitan he was able to do it once, he will add one more verse, and two verse, and three verse, and ten verse, and maybe the whole Quran. Are you getting my point? The Quran confirm that shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad, satanic verses no, it look like my internet is bad is my internet going guys do, do you hear me am i fine for some reason okay well i hope i will not lose internet because some for some reason my browsers are not functioning So when the Quran says that Allah will uh, delete whatever shaitan he throw in the mouth of his prophet, then that means the Quran admit that shaitan he gave Quran to the prophet. And this prophet became a prophet of shaitan. And this is in the Quran. So shaitan he can clone God messenger. Allah he can clone Jesus. So Jesus uh, shaitan and Allah they have the same ability of a cloning and do you know how dangerous this is is that means shaitan is a creator in Islam for he can do what Allah can do here we go 
Allah, he made someone look like Jesus. Shaitan, he made himself look like uh, Jibreel. And which one is harder? You cloning a man or cloning an angel? Yeah, because my browser, I don't know, for some reason, nothing is functioning. I'm not sure why. Maybe we have a DOS attack. <clears throat> so we can trust Islam. So look at this stupid cult. They have zero witnesses for what happened to Jesus. They believe in one man, and this man have zero witnesses for what he said. And he himself, nobody witnessed him receiving what he said. We have a guy who went to the seven heaven, seven sky, in the top of flying mule, and nobody saw it. We have a guy who Quran confirmed that he have zero miracles. We have a guy who's confirmed that he's a cheater, he's a liar, he's a fraud, and he's a child molester. And he is going to witness to what happened to Jesus 600 years after Jesus. And then Abdul, he will come to us and he will say, read for me, ma 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 John. In John. John chapter 2, can you read it for me? I can read it for you, what it says in John. What it says? It says that Jesus appeared after resurrection. It says that clearly. And it says there that Jesus he appeared to his disciple and he showed him his wounds. And you know, if you notice, uh, uh, he said that John said, we are writing this so you might believe. <laughs> you stupid idiot. <laughs> if I show you the same verse in the Quran, so you might believe, does that mean this is fabrication, you donkey? If I say to you, I'm writing this to you so you might believe. Does that mean I'm fabricating or I'm just explaining this to you, telling you what happened so you might believe? Because I can show you the same statement in the Quran. But this is this idiot who have a big mouth. He keep repeating himself and he don't notice how stupid what he said. You just quote for me a verse saying clearly that Jesus was crucified and he resurrected from the death. And you just confirmed that Jesus is still alive in the earth. And this is contradict the Quran. Because the Quran says, before the crucifixion, Allah, he took him. Right away, he cloned somebody, he took Jesus away. But the verse here is speaking about Jesus after resurrection, he is alive. And he is still exists in the earth. He did not go up to heaven. And you will see in John 20, not only Jesus, he appeared to them. You will see that she recognized him right away. And she said to him, Rabbi, which means my Lord, my God, the great master. And then the Messiah, he said to them, go and deliver my message to the disciples so they can see me. And in verse number 18, it says, I saw our God. Qadra aitu rab. I saw my, our God. That's what she told them. And she told them what he said to her. And the funny he says and uh, oh later later jesus he appeared to them later no he appeared to them already because mary the majorina and the one with her they saw him and that's it he appeared already and appearing later for more disciples that will not change the fact that he's already appeared and then he showed them his feet and his hands because they they were like they were uh, uh, astonished how this has happened. 
So everything, everything was true. He said he would be resurrected and he is back to life. And he showed them what the marks in his hands and the mark of his, in his feet to assure them that I am the person who was crucified. And this is actually to get Islam busted. Because when the Messiah, he showed them the marks of his arm or hands and the mark of his feet, he confirmed that the one was on the cross, it was the Messiah, no one else. And he confirmed that Muhammad is a liar. Even Muhammad was coming after, but looked like the Messiah. Obviously, he knew that there is somebody will come after and he will make fabricating lies that Jesus was not on the cross. And this idiot, he said, if somebody is resurrected, you cannot touch him. He said that. I said to him, okay, can you show me a verse in the Bible that says so? Where do you get this from? Is that in your religion? Is that in my religion? Wait, where? But in the same chapter, you will see that Tom or Thomas, in Arabic, we call him Tuma. He said, I don't believe this. I don't believe. I cannot believe unless I see the nails in his hand and I put my fingers on the wound. And not only that, he confirmed something else. And my hand in his side, where the spear he went, because he had the spear injury. And the liar, he says to us, you cannot touch him because he's resurrected. <laughs> you cannot touch someone as resurrected. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So Jesus, you know, he showed them the wound, they touched the wound, and you know, and this is how we get the false liars Muhammadan busted. Do we have any Muslim on a call? Skype is dead. Uh, to what? To live without religion, only believe. Osman is asking me a question. I don't know what Osman is saying. Let us see what Osman wanna say. Uh, hello. Yes, my friend. What What do you want to say? Hello. Hello. Hello, Christian priest. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. What do you want to say? Uh, I was saying. Uh, uh, is it? Uh, is it uh, good? Is it? Is there no problem if uh, somebody doesn't like believe in any religion and he just live his life using his conscience? And if this is good, this is bad. My friend, we don't believe first in religion. We believe religion is man-made. Huh? We do not believe in religion. Christianity is not a religion. Religion, in def definition is a group of people believe in something but religion at the same time is something made by somebody a group or a man and then people they follow so we don't believe in that we believe we are following the true god we don't believe that a man he should so follow his own is, uh, we, do, we do not is no religion. what hello yeah i'm trying to understand what you are saying go ahead oh, Yeah, go ahead. Oh, so you mean Christianity is not a religion? No, it's not. It's, it's it's, it is a faith. No, it's a faith. It's a faith in the true God. It's not a religion. Okay, can I become a Christian by just believing within myself, like, but not letting other people know that I'm a Christian? Well, why you wanna believe in yourself, but you don't want to let other people? You wanna be? You wanna live like a liar? You wanna lie to people? Uh, not like a liar, but, uh, you know, like, uh, for me, I value even my family ties, you know. But in Islam, if uh, you become a Christian, hmm. then the relationship even will be like, uh, it will not be stable like it used to be, you know. Hmm. 
Yeah, right now, yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm confused right now, bro. Hmm. You are the same person who called me before, right, about the crucifixion, correct? Yeah, Osman. Yeah, I Osman. Oh, we were uh, playing your video, yeah. your video actually, right? You are playing actually, yeah. Uh, you are the one who told me that Simon was carrying the cross, correct? Yes. Yeah, it was okay. me. It was me. Yeah. Yeah, and did, did I answer you and uh, correct you? What do you think about what I said? Uh, because uh, before I started talking to you, I checked on Wikipedia and they told me that uh, it was uh, Simon Simon and uh, who was uh, crucified. I don't know, like who wrote those information, yeah, and whatever. they gave me those verses, Yanni, uh, that I was telling you about Mark fifteen. Okay. Yeah. But you know, Wikipedia is a page. I can create a page on Wikipedia and I can write whatever I want. Mm -hmm. And you can go there, you can do even editing. You can log in Wikipedia and you can do editing for the same page you're reading from. Mm -hmm. It's a website. Is this, call, is this call live right now? Yeah, we are live. You don't want people to know that you are, you are, you are going to leave Islam? Is that, what you, is that your worry? No, no. But, but I wanted to talk to you like uh, personally, you know. Yeah, but uh, but I understand from you now that you are thinking to leave Islam. Is that what you are saying? Yeah, right now, yeah, I'm in doubt, yeah, even because I live in uh, in the Middle East. So, yeah, and I had some debates with my friends, and they like start like thinking, bro, don't be like that. You be you you be beheaded. Don't behave like that, you know. So, I don't know. Hmm. Well, my friend, yeah. for, for now, you know, you can accept the, accept the Christ in your heart, but at the same time, Christianity does not approve lying, which means if somebody asks you, are you a Christian, you cannot say, no, I'm not. This is not, this is not Islam, where you are allowed to lie. Mm -hmm. Well, what if I, I just tell the people, like, my beliefs, but not put a label on myself like I'm a Christian. Hmm. Yeah, is, is, is it not... Uh, is the, the name important or the beliefs? Well, what is important is the belief, and the belief have to come with the fruit. And if you believe in the Messiah, you should not lie. Mm -hmm. You see, if you believe in Jesus, you believe in his teaching, you follow his steps. However... You know, we have the Bible telling us like the story where Peter himself, he denied Jesus. He says, I don't know him. I'm not with him. You know, so mm -hmm. Peter was forgiven uh, for for doing that. But this was a sin. This is not the teaching of Christ. He was weak. He was scared. And he denied Jesus. Okay. So, uh... Annie, the Trinity, Annie. Yeah. Can you explain it to me, Annie? How is the Trinity? The Trinity. Is, Jesus is God. The Trinity is very simple. Okay. You see, when we, so when Jesus you say is the Father, Jesus is the Holy Spirit, Jesus is the Jesus also. Like no, how? We, like, no, we believe no. We believe that God. We believe God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, but one God, which means. God in three person. So if you say how this is, can be, well, how God can be God? Okay. You know, God, so when Jesus was uh, right here on earth, yeah. there, there was a God above. Or so that's what you mean. No, God. Or he came by. No, God. God, came God, God is one. There's not. We don't have a three gods. We don't have four gods. So God Himself, He explained to us. How he is, he said, "I am in three person. I will be with you as a man. That is his name is Jesus, the Son of God. Mm -hmm. This was the word the man. That's why Jesus keeps saying the Son of the man. But Jesus is not the Son of any man, but because he's God in the flesh, so he called himself the Son of a man. At the same time, I I am God. I will be with you as a spirit. So God is a spirit. He is the Father is up in heaven, but yet the Spirit with us. This is the Holy Spirit. So." This is how God he presents himself. God is in three person. He is with us. And why God is like that? Well, why God is God? 
and how God can make a person alive and how God can make the mud a person and how God can uh, uh, can heal and how God can uh, make the earth so the reason he is God we call him God because he can do things nobody can do and if God he says this is who I am so either we question how he can be like this and we have to question him to be God too because the second you say to him how you can be one and the three in the same time you are asking him how you can be God in the same time this is how he is this is how God he is you know he present himself he told us that I am the Messiah is my son is he is your God the Holy Spirit is my spirit this is your God and I am your father I am your God so if you if you don't want to believe in this well it's up to you you can question it but I can I have to question why I'm even using the word Almighty to the God I worship because Almighty is about him being able to be anything he want or to uh, to do anything he want otherwise he's not almighty uh so the reason why you call jesus god is because god was within him or what well the the bible says it clearly that jesus is the visible image of the invisible god and the bible says that uh, God humble himself and he come to us in the flesh of a man so because we cannot see God or his glory for he is glorious so God he humble himself and he came to us as a man so this is God how he is he is capable of being a man in the same time yet he is God God is capable of being a spirit in the same time he's God God is capable of being God in heaven and he is the God in the same time so this is about the ability, not about this ability, which means God can what we cannot. You cannot be three and one at the same time, but he can, for he's God. You cannot resurrect people from death, okay. but he can. You cannot make the blind see, but he can. You cannot make from the blood a human being, from the, from the, from the mud a human being, but he can. So because he can, he is God. All right? But uh, this belief, and you know, when uh, God came in form of a tree, like can we call that tree God, like according to the Torah? We can what? We can call it. Is it diff is it diff the same logical or is different? What logical by whom? Uh, God came as a, a tree to Moses, which was burning. Okay. Uh, so well, that tree, that tree was God, right? No, no, no. You see, according to the Quran, it sounds like the the God He is the tree, but according to the Bible, no. God He spoke from the bushes and He appear as He wish. As an example, you know, when we have in the Bible that uh, uh, the the uh, uh, God He spoke as a bird, and He said, "This is my only begotten Son." So can God be as He wish and appear as as He wish? He can. You know? But sometimes uh, when I look at the Quran, I see some verses. Uh, uh, some of them yeah, doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. It's uh, me who don't understand, or the Quran doesn't explain better. But yeah, there are some verses which like sound that like, it shows like yeah, this is really true. So like what? What is what? Know. What is like? What is the verses which is really true? Give me one. Mm, like. Uh, لا لا تستوي الحسنات ولا السيئة ادفع بالتي هي أحسن فإذا الذي بينك وبينه عداوة كأنه ولي حميم is it is it a lie or you see but it's true it's a no this is this is this is not about true or lie I mean I can make a speech and say don't do this don't do that but I cannot still if I don't practice it that's mean I am a liar so Muhammad all the things he said in the Quran don't do because it's bad he did it. So how he can be somebody to listen to? You know what I mean? Like, okay, are you allowed? So, are you allowed, uh, my friend, Osman? Osman, hold on. Are you oh, allowed I, as a Muslim? Uh, oh, hold on. Are you allowed as a Muslim to go to the house of somebody is not your house and to flirt with the woman she is married to the different man? Are you allowed? No, yeah, yeah, that's not allowed. It's, okay, uh, so but it's, did, it's fitna. That's fitna. Okay, did Muhammad do that? 
Yeah, okay, but. Okay, but you see, yeah, but, no, no, but but you see what I'm saying. Time, Muhammad, he say things, but he do the opposite, and this is a clear sign that he is a false prophet, because a prophet, he is the first one should be obey the command of God. So if his God says you cannot go around with women who they are not yours, and then he go to his own son wife and he flirt with her when she is married to his own son, what kind of a man he is? So if I take in, I, I make a book. And I say a good man should not cheat, and then I cheat. And I say a good man should not do fornication, and I do for you know, and and man should not steal, and I steal. That's mean. I say something, I do something else. This is a clear proof that he is a fraud. Mm -hmm. Secondly, Muhammad is a prophet. What make him a prophet? Can you give me one prophecy, Muhammad? He said. Yeah, like uh, in Hadith. Uh... Which is a, it is found in Sahih Muslim and Sahih Bukhari. Mm. You say, and yet at all, Luna feel Bunyan. It will reach a time. No, when, my friend. Uh, people no, like, no. compete in building tall buildings. No, you so see. People who are poor. No, first so of all. talking about the Arabs, and yeah. that's we can see right now. It's happening in the Middle East. Uh, like my friend, Qatar, like, my, my friend. Uh, Osman, Osman. I don't know where are you. Uh, uh, are you from Sudan? No, I'm from Malawi. Okay. Listen, Osman. The people of Yemen, they have long, high buildings before the time of Muhammad. So if he's saying they will make high building, well, they have high building already in his time. Secondly, if you read the the, uh, the hadith he mentioned, he's saying that there is a prop, that the prophet is saying that there's many things will happen and this one will happen almost at the end. So if you read, here we go, this is the hadith of Sahih Bukhari. It says, the Messenger of Allah said, the hour will not establish until, number one, till two big groups fight each other, whereupon there will be a great number of casualty. Both sides, they will be following one and the same religions. This has not, never happened until now. Because the World War One and Two, it was involved all nations from all religions, including Muslims. Uh, uh, and, the, and hold on. The hadith that I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, this is the one. I'm reading the same uh, one. Yeah, I'm reading the same one, Osman. I'm reading the same one you are talking about. About they will be high. They will have high buildings, my friend. I'm reading the same one. Just hold, hold your horses. All right. And then number two, yeah. tell the thirty Dajjal liars appear. Thirty Dajjal. So now we have thirty, not one. Muhammad keeps saying he there's only one Dajjal. Now we have thirty. And then he keeps saying, tell the religious knowledge is taken away by the death of religious scholar, which means there's nobody will be a religious scholar. Nobody. Did that happen? Never. Earthquake will increase. Eh, this is in, in, in the Bible. I.e. killing will increase. Well, this is always happening in the time of Muhammad and now and before and will, will, will happen always. And then he says, and number eight, till wealth will be abundance, which means people will not care for money. Did that happen, my friend? Do you find money in the street and you don't take it? Do you like? Do you open your mailbox and you find tons of thousands of dollars every day and you you throw it in the garbage? No, he's saying wealth will be abundance. Nobody will care for money, so abundant will be that wealth. Person will will worry. Last, nobody should accept his zakat. So even if you want to do give zakat, no, nobody is even will take it. Which means everybody became rich. Did that happen? No, and he says, and whenever he will uh, will present it to someone, the person. Who you presented to he said i do not need it so muhammad is claiming that in the in the end of the time you give money to people he says we don't need money we have a lot of money everybody have a lot of money but we, what we have is the opposite people are getting more poor populations increase go to bangladesh tell me how many people they are go to africa let us see how many people they need on money even in america i mean have you ever heard of an american he do not need money even in the most wealthy rich country in the world they don't need money everybody need money. so this is a lie secondly and then Tell the people complete one construction and high buildings. So this is number nine. Do you see it? This is number nine. So what was before it? Before it, what will happen? That people will not and they will reject accepting money anymore because they became so wealthy. So here we go. People of Dubai, they have high building. All right. But where is where is the prophecy number six and seven and eight and five and two? All of them became lie. So here, here, actually, what you quote for me now, proving that Muhammad is, is a fraud. Why? Because he said that the high building by the Arab will not build until those things happen. 
that happened before those things happen so Muhammad is a fraud But uh, then, how can uh, I justify any the, some of the contradictions, maybe in the gospel? How? How? And My friend, I don't want to waste your time. You can. There's tons of Christian website explain mm -hmm. to you that there's no contradiction. This is a misunderstanding. There's a misunderstanding, oh, and there's a, yes. there's a contradiction. People who they are ignorant because they are ignorant, they think this is contradiction. Like now, the guy who oh, said to me. Uh, no, the guy who said to me that Jesus was a crucified in Friday, that is not a you know, this is not a contradiction because the Bible says that he will be three days, three nights in the in the tomb. Okay? So if he is crucified in Friday, then okay, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is not yet uh, three days. But Jesus one was not crucified in Friday. This is misunderstanding. Sabbath in the Bible is a day of holiday. Any holiday in the Bible is called Sabbath. And this is what happened before the crucifixion. So before the crucifixion, there is, you know, there is, there is, there is a Sabbath, and because there is a Sabbath, it's called Sabbath. It's a holiday. And there is tons of, as an example, the the Jews they celebrate in the uh, in, in the in the Hebrew language they call it Nisan in our, in in uh, in English uh, uh, May. They call it what? In, in 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 English, the month of May, every every May fifteen, they have a Sabbath. May fifteen, it is a Sabbath, but May fifteen, it can be any day in the week. Let us see. May fifteen this month is going to be what? You know, if we open the calendar, so, Sabbath uh, Sabbath is a holiday, not a Saturday, right? It 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 means Saturday, and the same time it can be used as Saturday, and it can be. As a as a as a holiday. holiday, yeah. So in the oh here we go uh, in the uh, let us see in the month of May we are in April, okay. Let us see. In in May is going to be what which day? Okay, the fifteen will be Friday this this year. You see, mm -hmm. the fifteen. May 15 is going to be a Friday, but this is Sabbath. Mm -hmm. right. But uh, for you as a Christian, what do you believe about Paul? Or is it a big topic and to start right now? What do you mean? I'm not sure what you mean. Yeah, and he, Paul, yeah, and Paul, the, the guy Paul, who, the guy who wrote uh, Romans, yeah. Okay. Uh, what about Paul? Who wrote like several books in the hmm. New what, Testament? What about Paul? What about him? Uh, and how, what do you believe about about him? Was it was he a prophet also or what? No, we don't have you know we, you know when we say he is a prophet, you see the the the, the only prophet is exists in the world is God. He is the one who prophesied. The rest they are prophesying in the name of God. So when we say somebody is a prophet, he's just carrying a message to us from God. So, was Paul prophesying about Jesus? Yeah, he did. But Paul is not the only one. I mean, why only Paul? Why Muslims only focus on Paul? What about Mark? What about John? What about Peter? What about all the disciples of Jesus? All of them. You mean Paul prophesied about Jesus? Uh, but uh, that time Jesus was uh, already dead. Already no. went to, to heaven. Yeah, so what? Still God, he revealed message to, to his disciples. All the Bible are inspired by God, which means... God is inspiring the the, oath, the writers, and they write what God is inspiring them. So still, God is with us, and God is speaking to us. So all the disciples, Sorry. God, He is in God, He is still in contact with them, and He inspired them. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, is it true that the concept of Trinity and he started in the Council of Nicaea? No, my friend, the Council of Nicaea is to correct some cult like Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, we have Jehovah's Witnesses. So the, the Christian, they met, and you, as you see, the Council of Nicaea confirmed that the Christians, they agree that those people are wrong and they are liars. Otherwise, the Trinity exists from the beginning. 
If you see, if you open the Old Testament, you will find verses speaking about the Trinity before even Christianity has come to existence as a, as as we know it. Isn't it in the in the book of Genesis it says that God he created the earth and the heaven and his spirit was above the water? Here we go. This is God. And this yeah, is so spirit. in Genesis, yeah. Yeah. So isn't it God who says in the Old Testament that he came to Abraham as a man? Yeah, and, yeah. And Abraham, says, yeah, and like Abraham, that. and Abraham, he bowed down to him. Okay, so God as a man in the Old Testament, He came as a man, and he, this is many verses, not only one verse, is saying that God is a spirit in the Old Testament. God is the Father in the Old Testament. So in the Old Testament, before Christianity, before Peter was exist, before Paul was born, before even before the the Messiah was born in the flesh of a man, in the time of Mary. Uh, the Old Testament saying there's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So the concept was of Trinity, and he, okay, but then why do some people pray on Saturday and some pray on Sunday? Like, you are why a, is this confusion? You are, as a Christian, I just said, any day, any day designated to God is Sabbath. I can say next uh, to the Christian now, next uh, uh, Wednesday we are going to make it a date of a prayer. That is Sabbath. Mm. You know, any day you designate for God as a prayer is a Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Sabbath is a day for God. It's not just a, a, a it's not a date. It's a day for God. So any occasion in the Old Testament, as an exa as an example. Uh, uh, you know, we can find tons of examples. As an example, uh, uh, let us see. Uh, the Last Supper, if you go in uh, Mark Mark 26, uh, verse 17 and Mark uh, 14, it's the Last Supper was in, in uh, Tuesday. But but this is Tuesday, not, not Sabbath. Uh, the crucifixion was obviously in, in, in Wednesday. Uh, uh, the Feast of the uh, uh, living bread, it was in Thursday. Uh, uh, women prepare sp uh, spices, it was in Friday. Uh, th this is all the occasion happened to Jesus, and he was risen in Sunday. So, all you know, anything we do is meant to be for God. This is a day for God. If you designate that day, so if the Jews, if you go and see the Jewish calendar. A Jewish calendar holiday. Let us see. I will search in Google. I will use Prophet Google. Peace upon him. Uh, then you will see any holiday is a Sabbath for the Jews. Okay. Uh, let us see. From between from between the 16 to 20 of Nisan, one day uh, community. Okay. Let us see. Me open, yeah. Uh, here I've seen in front of me already uh, the the uh, April fifteen. April fifteen. Actually, I said May before. So I, I was wrong. May is a, is a, yeah. It's April, not 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 May. April fifteen, uh, and it, uh, uh, April twenty one and April 20, 24, Those are holiday occasion for the Jews. And for them, it's a Sabbath. They close their stores. They don't work. They don't do any business. This is because this is Sabbath. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. Uh, I have another question also. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, the Jews, they, they read the Old Testament. But why don't they believe in Jesus? Like, no, no, this is, is it a, misunderstanding no. or like what's wrong? And no, this is a mistake. First of all, there's no nobody can accept that uh, to say that the Jews did not believe in Jesus. All the disciples of Jesus are Jews. So how the Jews do not believe mm -hmm. in Jesus? So actually, the fact is the opposite. The first one who believed in Jesus, it was the Jews, but not all of them. And this is the case everywhere. Not all of us here okay, now. Okay, when I when I say Jews, yeah, okay, sorry, I made a mistake on uh, talking, but I mean Judaism. I don't mean Jews as people, but I mean Judaism. In the Ju people who follow Judaism. No problem, well, my friend. I just Judaism? told you the people who follow Judaism. As, as an example, you mentioned to me Paul. Paul, he was against Jesus, right? He was going after the Christians, even to kill them. But then Paul, 
yeah, he, be I... he became a disciple of Jesus. So this is an example of the Jews. He was a very conservative Jew who, who hated the Christians. So he, this is a great example how the Jews they accepted Jesus. So it's not right to say the Jews, they refused Jesus. Some of the Jews accept, some of the Jews refuse. And the majority of the Jews already they are Christians actually. It's the opposite. Because after 2,000 years, how many million Jews we have? Few. What happened? The majority of them became Christians. We call them Messianic Jews. Which means originally they are Jews. No, so Paul was a Jew or a Roman soldier? Well, he is a Jew in the same time. Okay, 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 yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. So all oh, Christianity, like uh, Seventh Day, like all of them, like there's no difference uh, as long as they believe that uh, their God is uh, Jesus. Like they believe in Trinity. My right? friend, my my friend, Christ Christianity is Jesus' teaching. is not the name of a church. Which means you might find somebody says I am a Catholic, somebody says I am Protestant, or somebody says I am Orthodox. All of them they are Christians. All of them they believe the, that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. All of them believe Jesus died in the cross. All of them believe that Jesus, he, he resurrected. Jesus will come back. Jesus, the only one, is save us. And Jesus will judge us in the judgment. They, all of them, they believe. The difference is, is little things here and there, and they are not important. If you if you discuss what the difference between them, you will find there is nothing really a big deal. Like Catholic, they have icons. Protestant says this is wrong. This is not true. We should not have it. But this is one that will not change the faith. The faith is in Christ. Who is the savior for the Catholic? Christ. For the Protestant? Christ for the Orthodox Christ did Jesus die in the cross for the Catholic yes for the Protestant yes for the Orthodox yes did he resurrected the three of them yes did is he, is he coming back yes so the differences is about things we can explain upon ourselves oh, so the I, 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 will, I will give you an example I will, I will give you an example like we mentioned that um, uh, Mary the 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 the, 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 the Magdalena Mary when she met Jesus, Jesus said to her, don't touch me. Some, they say, well, maybe because she have, uh, you know, uh, uh, this is a, a, a Jewish uh, a teaching that she is a female and maybe she have her period. Yeah, they, they explain this way, the way. Why? Because it doesn't say clearly uh, why Jesus says that. And some, they say, well, no, this is not because of that, because he's saying to her, don't hold on me, don't hold me. The translation is wrong. So he's not saying don't touch me. He said don't hold on me because simply I have work to do. I'm not going to stay with you. I have things to do. And later he, she was able to see him and to meet him and obviously even to to uh, and all the disciples to hold on him. So this is things we can differ in explanation depend in how the person see it. But that will not change anything that Jesus, all of them agree that he uh, resurrected and he met them and they touched him. And he saw them there his hands so we can you know it's very normal for a human being if i give you a picture right now and i say write down for me what do you see in the in the picture and i ask the same question for somebody else the same picture he would write different description for the same picture but, but he's not lying and you are not lying but because if each one of us he see the the world differently and he is interested in things more differently so the one there's one he mentioned the first thing he mentioned he saw a fish in the water in the in the drawing and the other one he did not mention the fish at all he mentioned he saw the tree and he saw a bird and he saw a girl and then he saw a boy so each one of them he mentioned something and he missed something why that is based on the interest and let us say uh, uh, the qualification of the person how much he is uh, let us say uh, uh, knowledgeable about the history of the Jews because in order to know what the Jews believe about women I need to know what the Jews believe about women I cannot make assumption so I if I study what the Jews says about women then I will understand maybe why Jesus said that and then maybe if I understand the Greek language I will have better explanation because he, in the Greek language uh, uh, according to those who speak Greek very well he did not say don't touch me he said don't hold on me and that make a difference between don't touch and don't hold you know like in Arabic, mm -hmm. it says, uh, 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 "Don't like, uh, uh, you know, like, uh, oh, don't hold on me. I, you know, I, I did not go up to my heaven, which means my work is not done yet." And and he told them, "I will go and meet. I will, I will meet them later." And then he met them later, and he allowed them to hold his hands and to touch them. So, 
Th those things can, uh, uh, people, they can give their own understanding for it. But nobody can differ between the Christians that Jesus was crucified, resurrected, he's a son of God, mm -hmm. he's God, he's holy, he's a miracle, and he is the one who said that he is the resurrection, he is the Alpha, he is the Omega, he is the beginning, he is the end. All the three believe that Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God. All the three believe that everything created by him and for him. All the three believe that there is no salvation but by Christ. All of them believe in the same thing. The difference is explanation of some stuff which is not really, I don't find it important, and this is my personal opinion, about like an icon. Should we have an icon in the church? The Bible says in Genesis, you should not make any image of what is up in heaven or down in earth and in the purpose of worship. So some they say, well, this is wrong. And some they say, well, no, it's not wrong because we can go and find in the Old Testament some verses about decorating the, the, the synagogue with images. So the, everyone here, but those things is normal for people to differ about it. But God will not judge us by this. God will judge us by our fruits. You know, me and you, we can ex we can mm. differ about, okay, should we have a picture or not? But that will not make me a bad person. Let us say, it is not right, but I have wrong understanding. Wrong understanding. God, he, the one who forgave the sinner, he forgave somebody, he have a wrong understanding about such a simple thing. Like, I thought it's okay to have an image. Okay, mm -hmm. but still I believe in Jesus that he is my savior. Still, I believe that I have no salvation but by Him. So which one is more important? If it's about sin, all of us we are sinners. Otherwise, nobody will go to heaven if everybody commits sin. Let us say, having an image is a sin. But I don't mean to hurt anyone. I don't mean to be a bad person. I love Jesus too much to the point I have a picture. All right? So even that sin, it was not because this person is bad, he want to hurt others, but because, because he loved the Lord so much, he accepted to have an image. And he come with the reasoning for that for that purpose, but that will not make him not a Christian. For simply, uh, he did nothing bad. He did not commit a crime. He did not hurt people. He have too much love to the Lord at the end of the day, and he don't love the picture. He loved the Lord still, and he don't believe the picture is God. He knew it's a picture. So if he believe that the picture is God, then that's a, that's a problem. That is a paganism. If he believed that God is God in heaven, and this is just a picture to remind us of him, this is a different story. So if you have a picture of your wife and you worship her as God, that is pagan, uh, you know. But if you love the picture for you love the person, that is a different story. So what is the purpose of this picture? If the purpose is to worship the picture, then you are a pagan. Then you're a pagan, yeah. yeah. But uh, if it is like to remind you about uh, your wife, maybe who died, no, I understand, bro. The purpose always, the purpose always can can give us the answer for what we do. So if I'm driving a car and I hit somebody in, uh, while I'm driving, and I kill them, but I am not a I'm not a killer. I wasn't because I did not kill him, intention to kill him, right? I was just driving my car. It happened and he's in my way. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe it's his fault. Either way, I am not a murderer, even though I killed a, a man, correct? But if I drive a car like some Muslims do, and they go in the crowd and they try to kill as many, this is a murder. Because his intention not to drive the car, his intention is what? To kill the people. So so even murder, even murder can be, uh, I mean, let us say, uh, killing people can be uh, classified as a murder or it can be an error or a mistake or it can be an, uh, like an, uh, uh, an accident. It just depends on the intention. Huh? Exactly, exactly. So if your intention is bad, then you are a bad person. If your intention is good, then you are not a bad person. You have a maybe wrong understanding. But you cannot yeah. say, I have wrong understanding to God when it's come to knowing Jesus, that he's God. For he did everything he can. He told you, I am God. He came to this earth. He died in the cross for you. And then you still you say to him, oh, I have wrong understanding. That's not accepted. Uh, but then when it comes to the prophet, uh, maybe we can say what he did, it, it depends on his intention. If his intention was good, maybe marrying the women so that because they are widows, then it would be a good intention. Uh, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure what do you mean. Can you explain what do you, what do you, what do you mean? 
I mean, uh, it depends on every action, and it depends on uh, the intention, right? Yeah. Your intention so maybe always. What the prophet did, like marrying Aisha at age uh, six, and uh, okay, what, okay, okay. Let us see. I, I will nine. go with you. I will I go, mean, Osman. Osman, I will go with you. What the intention? They had, uh, some good intentions, maybe. My, okay, my friend. My, what is the intention of a man? He is fifty-four years old to have sexual relationship with someone she is six years old. Give me the good intention in that. I'm with you. I'm listening. What is the good intention? Maybe to make a good relationship between uh, him and uh, his uh, friend Abu Bakr. But this is a bad intention then. He is using a child. He is abusing a child for protex. Mm, uh, yeah, yeah. That is a bad intention. Okay. You see, if you, with my respect to you, if somebody, he said to you, I want to marry your daughter. You are a businessman. You are a rich man. You are a powerful man. So I can get a job. Is that a good intention? No. Okay. So he's a, he's a bad person. So he's using your daughter in order to get something. He don't care for your daughter. He don't care for you. He care for what he will get from you. So obviously this person is evil. So again, Muhammad have a bad intention. Even the Muslim, they say to us that Muhammad, he was marrying women for political reason, correct? For what? Muslims, they say that Muhammad married many women for political reason. Yeah. Okay, that is a politician. That is not a prophet of God. Politics run by liars. And here we go. They admitted that Muhammad is a liar. He go and he marry a woman and he don't want to marry her, but he wants something from her family. So he's a liar. He take advantage of people using marriage as a tool to take what he want. That's mean he is because marriage should be that I am interested in the women, not in the money in her father pocket. If I marry a woman because of the money in her in, in her father pocket or the power he have, that's mean I am a fraud and I am using this woman to accomplish my target. The intention is bad. I remember one day you said uh, Muhammad uh, was in theater. Like, can you explain that? Muhammad was what? Was uh, in theater. Was imported. Muhammad was imported. What do you mean? I don't know. Was not able to give pregnancy. Was not able to. Uh, impotent. Like, impotent. Oh, okay. Make a woman pregnant. Yeah. Well, yeah, obviously, what, obviously, like, based on the in the Muslim stories we see in in all over. That Muhammad, he cannot have children. It's obvious, you know. And this is why there's a man. He said to him uh, that uh, he he is an actor. You know why he's an actor? Simply because he cannot have children. You know. There's a chapter in the Quran about a man. He made fun of him. Uh, exactly, okay. al kawthar So uh, if you read this verse, actually, you will see that Muhammad obviously is a fraud. I mean, what kind, of, what kind of a chapter? Allah, he sent this to tell him this. What does this what have to do with the topic? Lu, we have given you the abundance. Huh? And we do not know what this abundance is. It's Al-Kawthar. Most of them, they say it's a fountain in heaven. So pray to your Lord and sacrifice. So what, what? So sacrifice what? Why? Sacrifice for what reason? The people who sacrifice, uh, they sacrifice for forgiving sin. So Muhammad will sacrifice what? And for what? Lou, the one who insults you, he said you are cut off. He is the one who's cut off. But the guy, he have many children. So what this verse is about, is stupid. What about Allah? Instead of making a verse saying that the one who's saying to you, you cannot have baby, I will show him that you have babies. And he make Muhammad have 20, 20 babies after that. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? That would be a good answer, correct? But he had like... Uh... Fatima, Fatima, yeah. No, 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 none of those are, no, those are not his children. Khadija, she have two husbands before Muhammad, and Muhammad, he married her because she way is older, older. She cannot have kids. The women already, she is way older than him. She cannot have children. And he married her with her children, and those are his stepdaughters. But because Fatima, she was the youngest between the stepdaughters, she considered Muhammad as her father because she grew into the house, and he is the only man. She was a child. The rest are growing. And that's why it's so clear that even the Shia, they consider only Fatima as the daughter of Muhammad. The rest are not. All right. But there, but there is no way Fatima is the daughter of Muhammad. Because simply, obviously, Muhammad is a person who cannot have children. But here, the verse in front of us is a clear proof that Allah is a fraud. 
For if I say to you, you are a prophet of God, oh, you know, you, are, you know, your God cannot make you have babies. Ha 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 ha. Well, why Allah did not make him have a hundred baby after that? Can't he? He have thirteen wives. He can make every one single one of them have a baby every nine months. In ten years, in ten years, you have thirteen wives. Or let us say some of them did die. Let us say there is only eleven. In ten years, you will have how many? You will have a hundred child. Maybe ten. No, you will have hundred maybe because ten, if every, like if every, my friend, if every nine months you will have eleven children. In ten years, you will have more than hundred. Yeah. You know what I mean? Ten years. He can yeah, have yeah, one hundred yeah. child. So can Allah make him have one child? Yes. So what? Instead of making a, a funny, empty words have no meaning, the one who says you don't, you don't have kids, he is the one who don't have kids. Make him have kids. Prove to him that he will go. He's God. He listened to your insult, and now he's going to get you busted. You see, when mm -hmm. when 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 the blind man he said to Jesus, "I want to see." Jesus he did not say to, to him, "Oh, the one who make fun of you, he is the blind." No, he made him see. You want to see? Okay, here mm -hmm. we go. I made you see. When they say the my 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 daughter is dying, and they say, "Don't worry, your daughter will be alive," and the yeah, the, the daughter was alive. And, and you will and you will notice that Jesus, he is not. Uh, uh, I mean, like. When the blind man he said to Jesus, I want to see. I mean, what kind of request? A blind man usually in the street, he asks for what? He asks for maybe some food, correct? Mm -hmm. It's not normal to ask a person walking by, I want to see. But because everybody heard about the amazing miracles of Christ and is blind, he believed that this person can save him. He never saw. He's a blind, remember, right? This person mm -hmm. is a blind, so he, he did not witness any miracle, but he heard, obviously that the messiah is amazing this is a true messiah and he can he can so in his heart he have faith and when he said to the messiah he did not say to him give me a piece of a bread mm -hmm. Hmm? he said to him i want to see what do you want i want to see lord he said to him see and the man and he saw and he saw so this is how god is god he say be is going to be not like the god of muhammad he says something never happened. As an example, Muhammad in the Quran said uh, that his God told him in chapter of Al-Anfal that uh, 100 of you can fight what is equal to uh, 1,000, you know. And then they went to the fight and they lost. And then Allah, he said to them, oh, now I found a weakness on you. So uh, uh, one of you can fight too. So from one to 10, to one to two. So that was the battle of uh, Uhud. Huh? Well, you know, the Islamic his, uh, history says, uh, you know, most of the uh, people they say this is about better because there's better. There's a Surah and Al Kubra. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. there's like the big battle and the and the small one. So Muhammad he told him in in his dream in one of his dreams that he uh, he saw that uh, the number of the disbelievers are few. Who they will attack you and then when they went to the fight they found a big number so he was a liar so here in chapter 8 he said to them okay oh believer go and fight 20 of you can defeat a hundred 200 sorry that's mean 1 to 10 and then they, they, they did not win they lost and then what uh, he said and now has Allah lightened your burden for he knoweth that there is a weakness in you so you don't know that they have a weakness before and now he changed the number from 1 to 10 to 1 to 2. Why Allah did not say 1 to 2? I mean, look, nothing changed. He says 20 of you steadfast. And here, uh, 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 you know, steadfast. The same conditions. Nothing changed. Mm -hmm. So if there is B of you, a steadfast 100, they will overcome 200. Here, if there is of you, 20 steadfast, they shall overcome 100, 200. So the condition did not stay, change. Steadfast is the same. Steadfast, which means like a patient, you know. So the condition is the same. The number changed. Why? Because Allah is a fraud. Does not exist. Muhammad, he fabricated the verse to encourage them to go for war. And he lied to them. They went there and they found that this is a, that this is a fraud. There's no way a person, one person can, can kill 10 unless this is a movie made by Sylvester Stallone. Who shoot everybody and he never get injured. 
Yeah, because what they are saying here that 1,000, you know, and you know, it can happen by the way, if God, he wanted to happen. I'm not saying it cannot happen, but obviously this God does not exist because if God, he says one, he can fight 1,000, then, okay, if God is with me, who could be against me? Then you will win. But this is not what happened and God should not change his promise. As long as he said to them, 20 of you can fight 200, well, 20, they will fight 200 and they will win. That's it. He told them that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. what, so what do you mean he fight weakness? The weakness obviously is not in them. The weakness is in him. The God who made the promise, he cannot fulfill his promise. So now he has to change the number because he noticed that he is exaggerating, he's lying, and it's not working. So either you make them win, you promise them to win, that a 20 can fight 200. And by the way, it's not even 20. If, if it's one, if Allah, he says, if Allah is God, and he says one will fight 200,000, Trust me, the 200,000, they will, they, they will lose against the one. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because God is on your side. The God, he promised you, you will win. Mm -hmm. So, why is sure. it, why is it changing the, the number? Because maybe their faith yani, went down. That's why they lost, according to... My friend, it doesn't matter what is the reason to, to lose. That's mean God is not there. But the promise no, my, fulfilled. No, no, my friend. As long God he promised you. If I promise you you will be rich and you never get rich, that's mean it's mean my, my promise is a is a lie, correct? Yeah. Okay. So here he promised them twenty of you can fight two hundred. So it doesn't matter why he changing the numbers, still twenty should twenty should fight two hundred no matter what. They can win. He said to them, You can win. You do not need to, to adjust the number. Okay. Bind uh, you also said uh that what Al Qaeda and ISIS is doing, like it, it, the Prophet did it. Like, did uh, the Prophet crucify people? My friend, isn't it the Quran says the punishment for those who mischief do mischief it in earth to crucify them and cut their uh, uh, body part from opposite direction? This is Quran. So, why you are saying ISIS uh, they yeah. were not doing? Chapter 5, verse number 33, it says, Okay, so when I says they practice this, this is practice in the Quran. And yet they say to you, uh, Islam is not ISIS. ISIS is not Islam. But they are practicing the Quran. And until now, they practice this in Saudi Arabia. Nothing changed. Why, why nobody says Saudi Arabia isn't Islam? Coward. So, Islam uh, of the ISIS also like predicted about the closing of Mecca, and right now they are closing Mecca because of coronavirus. I think that's a prophecy, huh? Uh, this is a, this is a, this is a, no. Uh, well, your prophet he predicted that nobody will go there anymore, and will be abandoned. The only one you will find inside Mecca is beast. Is that the true? Is that what happened now? Mecca have hundreds of thousands live inside it now, so they are sitting home, but no. So the prophecy is false. The prophecy, nobody will go to Mecca except, except beast. But there's tons of thousands living in Mecca. Hotels, supermarkets, houses, villas, you know. Here we go, your prophet. Your, not, your prophet, he predict that uh, uh, the plague and the disease will not enter the city of Medina. He said the Jal, the Jal, uh, and the plague they will not enter the city of Medina, right because it is protected by angels you know, right. okay but uh, but uh, but uh, but what happened the opposite this is sahir bukhari says that the jah will uh, will come to medina and find the angels guarding it and he said the jah and plague will not be able to come and the plague here is a translation for Atta'un, Atta'un, any disease which is uh, kill rapidly a huge number of people, any spread disease. So if we go in the height, we will find that people, they were dying left and right in the city who Muhammad, he claimed that no disease would enter it to kill people. You know? But uh, if uh, Islam is like this, yani, but uh, why still people like still believe in it? Because yani, the 
the biggest religions right now is uh, Islam, faith, uh, is Islam, no. Christianity, and people who don't have religion. No, like, no, the biggest, the, 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 the biggest, no. People, like, they follow it. No, the biggest belief in earth is a Christianity. Secondly, why people still believe? The second they start asking questions, they leave Islam. And that's what we are doing here. And the example is you. Why you still believe? But you, <laughs> but you just said to no, me. Okay, you I'm call me. Okay, uh, uh, Os Osman. No, 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 Osman, Osman. How, how many time? How many time you call me until now? Is that the second time? Uh, yeah, it's the second time. Yeah. Okay, so look at you. Look at you. Three days ago, mm -hmm. three days ago, okay, or four, four days ago, you call me to defend Islam, right? Yeah. Okay. Four days after, you are saying to me you have a doubt about Islam. What happened? Yeah, because I'm trying to learn. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm I'm telling you how easy to make all the Muslims leave Islam, because simply the second you start discussing and thinking and using your brain, you will find that Islam is a fraud. So you yourself an example. The video is still there. You call me and you defend Islam, and it's not Jesus who was on the cross and etc. Blah, blah, blah. You all all the all the tricks you did in your in your pocket. You learn from in your in your in, in your life you try to present to me in order to defend islam and he will go after four days you call me again saying i have a doubt about islam okay I... so yeah, how... right now i'm having doubts sir. yeah so how many muslims are like you right now how, how many muslims are listening right right now to us like you who they have they hate me four days ago and they believe me four days after how many? And now what? Yeah, uh, so now what? What? Uh, after all this talk, what do you think? Are you? Are, did you decide to leave Islam or not yet? Uh, right now, uh, I consider myself a person without any any belief right now because. Okay, so you you left Islam? I'm, are you saying you left Islam? Yeah, of course. Uh, that's what I mean. Okay, so I mean. guys, Osman, who but called me four days ago like as a Muslim, and right? now he is not a Muslim. Wonderful. Okay, Osman. So now. You are a person without belief. How I can help you to understand Christianity and to accept Christ? Tell me what I can do for you. Mm, uh, like ask me the, the, the question that I have and that I ask about uh, the Christianity. Yeah, well, I, you know, Christianity is very easy. Yeah, but for now, the, the, uh, Osman, I want you to. The questions about I want you. I want. Answered. Yeah, I want you when you go. I don't want to put the pressure on you. I want you to think. If there is a better, better person in the whole universe to follow, better than Jesus the Christ, if you can't find someone else, follow him. Don't follow Jesus. If the answer is he's the only one, the best of the best, and nobody can be even compared to him, then I say to you, you have no other chance to be saved except by the Messiah. If you cannot find me someone better, His miracle is amazing. He is holy. He never commits sin. He never told a lie. He died in the so cross. So those people who wrote those stories, they were truthful. Like, is it true, bro? Is it true? What true? Like those stories, yeah. The Old Testament, the New Testament, yeah. Ah. Like, like, yeah, you can learn something. But uh, maybe it is a lie. Mm. The way we, yeah. we were you know, okay, I will go with you. I, I will go with you. Maybe it is a lie. Maybe, you know, maybe it's a lie. But mm -hmm. you see, we as a Christian, we witness miracles every, every day in our life. As an example, soon we will have the Easter, like the, the we have two calendar, Eastern calendar and Western calendar. In the Easter calendar, every year there's a light come from the empty tomb of Christ. You can go, you can buy a ticket, fly to Jerusalem, and you can be a witness for this miracle. Every year, never stop. Sure? Yeah, you can search it right now on YouTube and you can watch it. So the light happens, Yanni, still right now. Until now, every year in the resurrection day, the light comes from the empty tube of Christ as a clear sign from the Lord that this is what happened. And actually the Bible describes for us that, that those who they are so guarding... What? Huh? What is the date of uh, the, the the resurrection? Uh, the Orthodox uh, uh, calendar, the Easter calendar, the see uh, to, to be to, to be exactly. Uh, 
all right the date will be April 19 April 19 April right? 19 yeah so if I go that day there I will see like the light coming, coming you will, out you will see the light and you will like your candle from the light so, and for sure and let me tell you from now the Muslim they say to you oh this is a this hold on hold on or... Osman Osman the Muslim they will say to you oh this is a lie it's a trick it's false right, prove it Go prove it. It's a lie. Mm. You know? Maybe, maybe, it's, maybe it's true because I'm just hearing it like the first time from you. Huh? My friend, and not only that, there's miracles happening every day in the name of Christ. Every day there's miracles happening in the name of Christ. And Christ, he said it clearly that, you know, that there is miracle will happen in my name, but he don't approve the people who do those miracles unless they are giving good fruit, which means there is people, because the name of the, of the Lord is so powerful. And if you have faith on him, just to explain to you how this happened. Let us say now you accept but the Messiah. Let us say, hold on. Why do people are sick, yeah, sick? People are like having a lot of problems. Yeah, okay, I mean, let me ask you. Don't, like, okay, okay. I will, the miracles I will, happens to them all, like at the right. time of Jesus. Yeah. All right. My friend, to in, those no, no. Who, even in the, time, in the time of Jesus, who said that every blind can see? No. Jesus, he made up one blind see. He did not. The Bible never said he made two or three or four. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Jesus, he showed what he can do for a, for a reason. He is not coming as a doctor to heal the blinds all in the world. That's not the purpose of God coming. God, Jesus, he made the one who he cannot walk. His ability, his capacity, yeah, no. Because people they want to believe. Why? How? How they will believe in him? Anyone can say I'm God. I can say no, I'm God. You can say that, right? Anyone can claim. A talk is cheap, like Muhammad. So, but but uh, the, the truth is, can you do what you say? And this is why Jesus said to them, he read their mind, he says, which one of them is easier to say, forgive his sin or carry your bed and walk? The Jews, they were thinking, because he said, your sin is forgiven to the person. And the Jews like, what? You see, and the Muslim, they say, where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. Or Jesus said to the man, which one is easier to say to you, to him? Because even he can read their mind. Which one is easier to say to him, reach, you know, your sin is forgiven. Or to say to this man who cannot walk, carry your bed and walk. And the man, he carry his bed. And walk okay and there was uh, this uh, guy in the Bible who said I want to follow you but first I need to go to my family and Jesus said if you want to follow me you should forget like everything so it means if you believe in Jesus then you, you should leave everything on earth like but, no but focus this is not this what? is not what 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 is meant what is meant is uh, okay you want to be my disciple or you want to just be uh, you know a, a, a person with your family Jesus did not say to the Christians, all of you leave your family and just follow me. That's not Christianity teaching. Actually, the opposite, Jesus is saying that the man, he leave his parents and he will be one united, echad, with the women. So he is teaching them to get married and to uh, to have a children and etc. But at the same time, if you want to be a, a, a disciple of mine, and this is not a mission for everybody, you know, so either you are going to be with your family or you are going to be with me. What do you want? Because you cannot carry a, a bunch of children and a wife with you, and we are going from city to cities, and you want to be a missionary for Christ. So which one do you want to do? Oh, okay, so it depends uh, on what you are doing. Uh, depends on your mission. Disciple, if you want to be, you want to be a, a, just a Christian yeah. who is a believer, have a family, have a family. But if you want to be a disciple with Jesus, this is in the time of Jesus. Well, there is risk. They will kill you. He told them. Time will come and people will think by killing you they are doing favor to God. So why you want to risk a family, children? So you follow me. You, if you die, you die. You don't cause the death of children and women. So you are a person who choose what you want to be. 
but doesn't mean that if a Christian he have a family is not a person who believe in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Yeah, no, I understand. I've learned a lot there. Yeah. Yeah, you know, a, a Christianity actually is uh, uh, not only support having a family. It's it's a it's a it's a it's a teaching of having a strong family. This is why the Messiah was against divorce, because the Jews. They used to marry women when they are young and then they throw them the same as the Muslims do. So the Messiah, to stop that, he's, he, he made it clear that it's not up to you you marry the women and then you dump her in the street because she became older. This is unity. This is not just a contract. This is not, this is not a sexual contract between a man and women. This is a marriage by God authority. So, a man he leave the women for a serious reason not because you are bored and you want to have a new wife as if you are changing your car or your bicycle so jesus not only he encouraged the christians to have a family he ordered the christians to keep their family strong mm -hmm. so in uh, christianity divorce is a sin huh? no divorce if it's a divorce for you see, you remember, Osman, I told you it's the uh, it's all about the intention, right? Yeah. Okay, so if my wife, she left me, well, I can divorce her because she broke the covenant between me and her and God. She should not do that. Mm -hmm. So it, the Bible says that a woman, she can leave her husband for, uh, uh, for in the case of adultery. Adultery in the Bible is not only a woman or a man sleeping around. Adultery is breaking the covenant with God. So... If a woman she leave her husband, she broke the commandment. If the man he leave the wife, he broke the commandment. Then the other person he have the right to be divorced. We cannot hold the women forever waiting for a husband he will never come back. You know, for he broke the commandment, he committed adultery. So adultery is a sin you do against God. Not necessarily many many Muslims because they don't know the the, the, the Bible. They think the word adultery, but earth committed adultery. I mean the whole earth is full of sin. So any sin you do against God is adultery in the Bible. Mm. Okay, right. in Christianity, is it okay to do dating, like to have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, no. as long as uh, no, no. One, you can just go one. watch my videos in the other account, uh, uh, Quality of Life. You can watch it, and there we teach the Christian that this is absolutely false. This is not the teaching of Christ. You see, a Christian should not practice such a thing. This is what people practice because they are not. They are, uh, you know, following their lust. So, what, what what's the difference between what makes it different between marriage and just dating? Well, marriage is you. You see the intention. What is the intention? If a man he love a woman, he marry her, as simple as that, and he will not let her go. If a man he want to have sex, he sleep with her. Mm. Correct. Do you pay something equivalent to mahar in Islam? Well, you know, this is a, this is a tradition usually, like you know, uh, like the Jewish tradition as an example. Muhammad he stole from the Jews many things, but Muhammad he added things like muta as an example. You pay the women wages for sleeping with them. The Jews don't believe in this garbage. The Jews they have a dowry, uh, like the women she can furnish her house, uh, she can uh, like. Uh, he's not giving the women actually uh, money as much it is he is giving the women money to prepare the house for. He gave it to her father, and then she prepared. They prepared the, the bride for him to be ready for marriage. So if you go in the Middle East and now, you will find that uh, if this old tradition is still practiced, that uh, uh, if, a, if a husband, he gave some money, then the wife, she go and buy furniture with it, buy clothes with it, etc. So it's like a dowry for her, and this is her furniture, this is her house, this is her clothing. This is all is paid by the husband, but it's not really for her at the end of the day. It's going to come back in his house. Okay. okay. It's, a, it's, it's more of a tradition. It's not really, it's a, it's about like, a, because you can tell a woman she marry you and you don't, uh, you don't give anything. You know, you love each other. Marriage is what is important. Not what is done before, not what is done after. You know what I mean? What if you are a poor person and you love a woman and you want to marry her? Okay, and you don't have money. So what do you do? So she love you. She don't want anything from you to furniture or etc. Okay, we get married. 
there's women, you know, I, I've been taught stories of, from my parents about people who get married and they have nothing in the floor to sleep in. Nothing. They went to the priest. They told him we want to get married. They don't even have money to pay the priest for the wedding ceremony. They have nothing. They even things yeah, to sleep in the floor. Life. Yeah. So they want to establish a life. They want to establish a family. They have nothing to sleep on in the floor. They get married and the Lord provides for them. And you know they told me the story how, how 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 the Lord is amazing. So like this this woman, she married from this man, and then they came back from the church. They, they have nothing. They have nothing. The guy he have nothing in his home. The neighbor they heard about this, and everyone started giving them something. One he gave them a blanket. The other one he gave them uh, uh, something to put in the floor. The other one he gave them a pillow. And here we go. They have a house. Very simple, very beautiful, and they live together all their life, and they have eight children. And then after that, they became wealthy actually. So they started their life. You see the intention, my friend, the intention. If the intention, if you marry a woman for the sake of money, that's when you are doing business, not marrying her. This is a great example of what love can do. If you love a woman, you don't ask her to sleep with you before you marry her. You will protect her dignity. You protect her uh, uh, herself for you. And you preserve her. And let us say, uh, it happened that you get tempted and she got tempted even if that happened you should correct that thing and marry the person but if you are a person that's going around sleeping with women today and this woman tomorrow obviously his intention is not to marry his intention is to have sex and this is a punishment there's a, this this is a the, the old testament speak clear about punishment about fornication and there's a punishment in the judgment day You see, the, the Muslim they say, the Muslim they say to you, and I'm sure you heard this before, that in Christianity, because Jesus, the Christian, they believe Jesus died on the cross, and uh, they say the Christians, I am being forgiven by the blood of Jesus. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is true, but he is forgiven if he following Jesus, and he is not, and he is not like you cannot say I'm a Christian and I'm going to sleep around, and Jesus forgive me. No. You see, Jesus said it clearly, not everyone says to me, God, God will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. And what is will? The Ten Commandments says it clearly there, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. So if you don't practice what God, he told you, then you have nothing to do with Jesus. It's not a word you say. It's not a shahada like the Muslim, they say shahada, and suppose they will go to heaven, which is stupid. For us, you have to be practicing the teaching of Jesus in order to be qualified to go with Jesus. Okay. But for you Christians, Yanni, do you believe that there are some things called genes or demons or something like that? Yeah, we believe in demons. We don't believe in genie. Genie is a, is a fiction story. Muhammad, he learned from the Indian. It's coming from India and the Persia about a creature who is powerful. He has funny ears. He can go so fast. And all this garbage, as the Quran mentioned, the story, if you remember, the story of Solomon, that there is a Afrit. You know what Afrit is? Yeah, Afrit. Yeah. yeah. The Quran mentioned even the word Afrit, which is stolen from different languages, about a creature who is a genie. And this Afrit, he's called Afrit because he's so fast, you know? So he this, uh, uh, he can he can go anywhere you want in the blink of an eye. I mean, who in the world want to believe in this garbage? If the angels so, themselves, where did the, the prophet? Where was he taking these stories from? I mean, from legions. Isn't is, 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 is it the Quran says in many places that the Arab they say to him, "This is Asatir al awalin This is the legions, the fairy tales of the of, of the previous people before us. We heard yeah, them before. Yeah, yeah, uh, huh? yeah, yeah. They say that. They, yeah. They so pagans, yeah. they say to him clearly in his face, "This is nothing but legion. We heard it before." Hmm? You did not tell us something new. This is we heard all those stories before. Those are fairy tale stories. You see, here we go. We were ordinarily, ordinarily promised this. I've been told this. We and our fathers do this is nothing but the fabulous of the man of old. Do you see it? Chapter 23, verse number 83. So when he mentioned those stories, they were laughing at him. We know that this fiction story is lying, those are lies. Hmm? 
And how? What? What? The, and did, you, did you see the? Did you see the answer, Osman? Did you see? Osman, did you see the answer of your prophet about what? I mean, your ex-prophet, what he said. He said, "Say unto them, belong the earth and whatever in heaven." And to the, do you have a knowledge? I mean, what is the answer? They are saying to him, "This is nothing but fairy tales." He said to them, "The, the earth and what is in it belong to Allah, and you have no knowledge. If you if you know if you have a knowledge, what, what is the answer? They just told him this is a fairy tale. We heard it from the previous." How you answer them? You say to uh, uh, to Allah, the earth belong. But this is and not the topic. Yeah, like, it's like totally different. It's not the answer. I mean, like, it's not the answer. He's running away from the answer. It's like it's like I say to you. It's I, I say I say to you, uh, why why you like Pepsi Cola? And then you say to me, the uh, the earth belong to Allah. Like, what does this have to do with the Pepsi, Pepsi Cola? Uh, what what is the answer? Because this man is a fool. He have no answer. And he come with nothing. Tell them that Allah is the Lord of the throne. But but, but this is not the question. Uh, so you are telling me that uh, the pagans believed in Allah? Well, the Arab they believe in the moon God, yeah. Okay, isn't it Muslims? Isn't it the Muslim? They told you, you grow up all your life as a Muslim. Don't they say that Muhammad is Ab the, the son of Abdullah? Yeah, the son of Abdullah. Okay, Abdullah is going to go to hell, correct? Yeah, there's a hadith. Your father and my father to hell. Okay, exactly. So my father and your father will go to hell, but he is a slave of Abdullah. Why? Why a slave of Allah? So he's a pagan. He's a slave of Allah. Uh, I think it was maybe just a name. I don't. I don't understand. I asked some brothers, uh, Muslim brothers, but even them, and they just say, yeah. Yeah, they used to believe in God, yeah, but the answer was not convincing, you know. My friend, the, 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 they believe in God, the same God of the God of uh, of Muhammad, which is Allah. But Allah is a pagan God, and the proof Muhammad, he did exactly what the Arab used to do. What what Muhammad changed from before Islam to after Islam, nothing. He still accept the Kaaba, and now he claimed that this is the house of Abraham. But you will see that none of those Arab before he mentioned Abraham there. Nobody. Not a single Arab from the Arab they say Abraham. Nobody follow Abraham. This is the for the for the Jews. Where Muhammad he came with Abraham. Abraham is the one who built the Kaaba since when? And I was mm -hmm. I was reading uh, Ibn Kathir and he said Adam went to Mecca forty times. Uh, let's leave that, that okay. Yeah, he he uh, Adam he uh, Adam Allah he sent him down to where to Sri Lanka, correct? Yeah. Okay. Did you ask yourself as a Muslim when you were a Muslim? Now you today you are not a Muslim no more. Thank God. So did you ask yourself why Allah He sent Adam to Mecca, not to not to Saudi Arabia? He was sent to Sri Lanka. Yeah, but why? But 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 uh, uh, Ibn Kathir says when he came. When uh, Abel was killed, uh, Cain was killing his brother Abel. Uh, Adam was in Mecca, so Adam went to Mecca. The story happened when he was not there, but some other no, 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 no. They say Adam was there. No, no, no. So no. like it was confusing. No, no, my friend, the, the story is so clear. All the Muslims agree with it. You can there's a there's a guy. His name is Mufti Monk, right? You can watch his videos, and he's very well respected. Mufti, between Mufti Monk, he have many videos, right? So Mufti Ismail me. His name Mufti Monk. I don't know what his full name. Yeah, Mekki, Mekki, yeah, Mekki. I know that. I know yeah. That. So he he was he will explain to you how Allah he sent him down to Sri Lanka. Why Sri Lanka? Hmm. Read. He descended in the in the mountains of Ceylon or Sri Lanka, known as the antiquity of scholarship Islam. Diamond. Okay. So where he was sent? All Islamic website agree that Allah he sent. Down Adam to Mecca, to to uh, to Sri Lanka, and this is where Islam is coming from. The 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 Hindus they have a black stone, which is considered like a holy stone for them. The Muslim they have a black stone. The Hindu they have a cube, they have a temple, and they practice you know the same as the Muslim practice. If you go and see the Hajj of a Muslim, they shave their head, they expose one shoulder. This is exactly what the Hindu priests they do. They, sh they, sh they show one one shoulder, right? 
Yeah. They, they are naked. Because, they were, yeah, because yeah. even me have been yeah. naked. Yeah, they, they wear a sheet. They wear a sheet. And they show yeah. one shoulder. This is exactly what the Hindus, they practice. But did you ask yourself why? Where is Muhammad coming from? This Because this is Islam is coming, obviously, from India. And India is not far away from Saudi Arabia. It's just a, uh, 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 two hours in the sea. You know? You can go from Oman right away and you will find yourself landing in Pakistan. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, now I understand. I understand. If we go right now and we try to find how how the, the Hindu, when they do Hajj, and how the Muslims they do their practice you will find that they are the same you know they yeah. they they, uh, they do the same thing look if I show you this one let me put this picture there if I show it to you and I did not say this is Hindus you might think that those are Muslims practicing Hajj hmm. they are showing the same the shoulder let us put it on okay. the screen and they are wearing a sheet and in the same time, they uh, shave their head. So why they are doing that? Simply because Muhammad, he is stealing this, you know, the, the Arab before him, before Muhammad. They did that exactly, and they practiced that, and Muhammad is just following what the Arab do. No? But where the Arab get this from? Obviously, he, you know, they get it from somewhere. Otherwise, you know, I change the Muslim to tell me why he, you have to show one shoulder and why you have to wear a sheet and why you have to shave your head. Where do you get this from? And why it's exactly what the Hindus do? And why, why you have a black stone like the Hindus? And why the black stone is in the shape of a vagina? The, the, the stone of the Hindus is, is presenting the private part of the male and the female. So but uh, the Prophet didn't have uh, any uh, uh, Sahabas from India. Where did he? Because Where he, 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 he but, because, no, they see, Islam came from India. I mean, the, the, the Kaaba stuff and this, uh, uh, but doesn't mean you have a friend from India because this is established long before Muhammad. This is not something mm -hmm. happening in time of Muhammad. The Kaaba is exist long before Muhammad. And the Black Stone is exist long before Muhammad. And this practice is not Muhammad who created it was exist before this why we are saying Muhammad is just another pagan person who follow what the Arab practice in the beginning Muhammad he tried to make himself a Jew so he abandoned the Kaaba he, he prayed to Jerusalem and you know that right he went to Jerusalem no uh, that's all I don't know no, no he was praying in the direction of Jerusalem oh yeah 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 I know okay I know, I know. so yeah. why Muhammad yeah, was praying was, uh... why Muhammad was praying in direction of Jerusalem not in direction of uh, 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 the Kaaba, what happened? Because at that time he was trying to convince them that he's a Jew. But when the Jews refused him anyway, he decided to switch back to his old pagan practice, which is the Kaaba. Uh -huh. Okay. So in the Old Testament, in the Bible, there is no trace that uh, Hajar and uh, Ishmael went to Mecca. Huh? No. Nowhere. Secondly, why why uh, Hajar she will go to uh, Hajar is an Egyptian woman. Why she will go to Mecca? Let, let, just ask yourself, Osman. You have a daughter, and you are let us say you are an Egyptian. You said you are an African, right? Yes. I'm okay. African. So if your daughter was married to somebody in Iraq, and now her husband he sent her out, where she will go? To her father, right? Uh, to his father. Okay, where, father. where his father is in, in Africa. She would go back to Africa. Why well, she would go to Mecca? What is in Mecca? <laughs> Especially there was no Mecca at that time. <laughs> you know what I mean? A woman, she have a child. She need help. She cannot live by herself. And how a woman, she can travel all this distance alone. All this distance from Iraq. I mean, do you know how much danger she will be kidnapped? She will be raped. She will be killed. Her son will be enslaved. So why this woman she go all the way to a place where nobody exists? There's nobody there, according to the Muslim stories. But uh, but Egypt and uh, Mecca, 
it's just yani, close. Yani, no, like, my friend. No. no, my friend, it's not. You see, we are talking about Maybe people. Maybe Makkah that time it was uh, Egypt because. Yani, no, no, no. These boundaries are no, no, British. No, no, uh, no, 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 my they, friend. They no, no, it's my. You see, for us today is a closed because we have airplane. We are talking about people who they are traveling by using animals. That is a very far distance. You know, mm. when 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 if I want to go right now to Mecca, uh, you know, and I am in Iraq, it's going to take me by airplane. I think about four hours, and this is by airplane. But if I am using a donkey, how long is going to take me? A month. Maybe a month. Okay, so a woman she would travel alone for a month. In a top of an animal alone and she have little tiny child with her why and why she go in that direction you see look how uh, uh, Egypt is way closer than uh, uh, Mecca if you look at them uh, let me put it uh, in the map so people can see and even the story about uh, Palestine and uh... Is I don't like it's still confusing. Again. Yeah, but, but, but focus with me here first. You see, Abraham was in the north of Iraq. So like you are going all the way from Turkey now, all the way to Mecca. I mean, look at this distance. In the desert, not in a green area where they can find food and water. Who is going to believe in the story? And then when 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 the Muslim they come with the story that. Adam, he came all the way to Mecca. Wait, from where? From Sri Lanka. Let us see where is Sri Lanka. Just to show you the madness of this, this this garbage religion. This is Sri Lanka. Look at Sri Lanka. Okay. How in the world Adam was able to cross? Sri Lanka is an island. It is an island. So how how Adam was able to cross the sea from the from from Sri Lanka, the island, and going all the way. Let us, let us draw how how the road will be for Adam. This is Sri Lanka. He have to cross the sea. In, in a, let us say he got a donkey. Okay, and the donkey he is very good in swimming. He's a is a champion in the Olympian. So he crossed the sea. Now he went all the way in India, and then he went all the way. And now it's Pakistan, and then he went all the way to Iran, and then he went all the way to Iraq. And then he took a turn, he came back to Saudi Arabia, and now he is going to come all the way to Mecca. Who in the world want to believe in such a garbage story and how he found his way? Uh, and, uh, in the Bible, you believe that uh, uh, Ibrahim, Abraham was born in uh, Ur, huh? Yeah, it's, you know, he's in Iraq, yeah. Uh, but uh, so, some stories, they say take it. No, it's, you see, it's about, it's about where... You know, when you say, uh, you, see, you remember I told you about confusion, that some people, because they don't have uh, 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 explanation for verses and they don't have the background of the language. So I can, like once, once uh, I'll give you an example. Once a, a person asked me, okay, the, uh, the, the paradise or heaven is called the Garden of Eden, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. He said, well, Eden, according to history, was created in the year, etc. So how God, he sent Eden, but that he didn't know that this city was named Eden, but this is not Eden. Eden is in the north of Iraq or, or the south of Turkey. You know what I mean? So, in, we, we, Eden is where, but, but the Bible says it's, uh, it, uh, it's Opia, right? No, 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 no. Where, where the Bible says it's Ethiopia? Uh, in Genesis, I was reading, and they talked about uh, rivers like Euphrates, and Tigris, and the other Ethiopia, yeah, something like that. No, you see, the the the, the Euphrates first is in in the north of uh, south of Turkey and north of Iraq, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was your prophet who said that, not not the Bible. The the, the your prophet he said that the heaven of the, the 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 Euphrates and the Nile River they come from the heaven of Allah, which is in the sky, not Eden, you know. Uh, he said there's four rivers, Sihuna wa Jihun, and Euphrates and the Nile, they come from, uh, let us show the, show the hadith.
You see it? This is your prophet saying that. Sihan wa Jihan, Euphrates and Nile River are all among rivers of paradise, and they are coming from under the tree of the lotus tree of Allah. And they are where? They are in Sudrat al Muntaha, almost the last heaven of Allah, which is again proven Muhammad to be a fraud. Yeah. Okay. So you are saying it was not uh, the Genesis didn't mention Ethiopia, but I don't know. I read it was Ethiopia. They said Ethiopia, something like that. Well, my friend, if you have a verse to show me, it says that. Then uh, you know, show me so we can see if this is true or not. If I am wrong, I will say I'm like, wrong. Like uh, Genesis, uh, Genesis uh, two, verse ten to fourteen, I think. Yeah, it doesn't say what you are saying. We we, we open Genesis. <clears throat> you said Genesis 2? Uh, Genesis 2 verse uh, uh, 10 to, 4, to 14. Okay. It says there that this is in Ethiopia? Yeah. <laughs> Where it says, go ahead. No, but I cannot. I can't open any the, the verses. Okay, but mm. anyway, anyway, I will try to. No, to it says on my own. It says no, my friend. It says because there I, in Arda Ashur. Ashur is the Assyrian. In Arda Ashur, Assyrian, okay. and those are Ashur. The, the Assyrian are in Iraq, correct? And he name and they name even the third the river is Dajla, and Dajla is go through uh, uh, Turkey, Syria, Iraq. And the, the fourth is Euphrates. Where is Ethiopia? Ah, then, then there, there is no Ethiopia. Okay. Yeah. But this is a garden. This is not when we say that this, those are garden, which means it is the location where God he created for Adam and Eve, which is uh, provide them with everything they need, right? But for us, heaven is going to be in different world, not this is on this earth, you know? Yeah, but it's you, your prophet, who who mixed things up. He took, you know, he learned something about what the Bible says about Eden, and then he mixed it with his own fantasy stupidity, and then he he put the Nile River there. See, now we have Africa and Iraq became in one place. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it can't be in the same place. Huh? Yeah. And, uh, and Muhammad now explaining where they are coming from. He is saying not only that they are coming from Iraq. He is saying they are coming from the, the from the lotus tree, which is in the upper heaven of Allah. And this is very stupid, yeah. you know. He is claiming that the Nile River and Sihuna Jihun, the same names is mentioned in other books. Yeah. He take them and he add the Nile River, and that make it more funny and more stupid uh, uh, story yeah. by claiming that all those rivers are coming from heaven. But the Nile River have nothing to do with heaven. Why is coming from heaven? Where what heaven? Because remember here, Muhammad was talking about he he uh, uh, the angel was taking him up in the sky. This is not this is not the earth, you know. This is not the earth. And here, when he arrived to the seven, he, he arrived to the seven heaven. Huh? And in the seven heaven, he saw in seven heaven we are in the sky. He saw four rivers. And those four rivers are floating from under the tree of Allah. Uh, uh, bro, I, I found the verse uh, in Genesis that mentions uh, about uh, Ethiopia. Okay, what did you, what uh, what Genesis is saying about Ethiopia? Go ahead. Uh, Genesis, uh, it says, and the name of the second river is Gihon. The same uh, is it that can pass it the whole land of Ethiopia. Okay, now, now I understand, yeah, now I understand. It is not in Ethiopia, but the same that is uh, like in Ethiopia. Hmm. No, those are names, in uh, different language. This is Aramaic language, my friend, it have nothing to do with Ethiopia. All those names, okay. and, the proof, and the proof here, Muhammad is a, is a thief. He is even stealing the names, uh, even the names he is copying them and he put in there. Like, can Muhammad, he says to us why he called the Nile, Nile? Allah, he called it Nile? 
Why he called it Euphrates? Do you know what Euphrates mean? You don't know. Do you know what Sihon mean? You don't know. Do you know where it's located? You don't know. Obviously, he's a liar. I mean, this is geography. What what the Nile of how the Nile River became in the seven sky of Allah? You tell me. So in the Old Testament, it says clearly that this is in the land. This is here in Iraq. You know, in the land of As the Ashur. Ashur is the, the the Assyrian. In the land of the Assyrian, in the land of the Babylon, all the way in Iraq, there is a river. It's called this. Lord River. It's called that. River. It's called that. And that makes sense. And those are we can check them out. They check out to be true. But here, Muhammad is claiming that when he took him to the seven seven sky, you know, if you see here, he take him to the seven sky. Up, he's going up. Remember, Muhammad is flying up. He raised up. Even here, he says he raised up. So how he was raising up to the sky, and then he found the, the Nile River, and he found Euphrates River coming from there. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. so, uh, I and not all. You see, he said, he said to them, he said to Jibreel, listen, he said to Jibreel, when he took him to the seven heaven, he told, he told him, what are these rivers? Yeah. Jibreel, he replied saying, the two hidden river are the rivers of paradise. As regard the two minus ones are the Nile and Euphrates, but he is in paradise. So two rivers will water paradise and two rivers will water the earth. If this is the if this is the case, otherwise, what does it mean? So, but here those are in the seven heaven of Allah. He is in the seven heaven. This is not in the ground. This is not in the earth. You see here, he arrived where the little tree is located, and then underneath of it, he found the rivers. And this is where, in the same location where Al Baytul Ma'mur, Allah, He have a house where seventy thousand angels get in every day and they never come back. You see it, so this is this is where Allah yeah. located. This is in the house of in the, in the land of Allah, where Allah He lived. So in the heaven of Allah, where Allah lived, there's your your is there is no river. Who in the world want to believe in such a garbage? Yeah, because this uh, will make you like not even believe in the mirage, you know, because yeah, talking okay. about your and Nile, but Nile and the Euphrates is on earth and. Uh, Everything Muhammad he said is a fraud. He cannot keep his words. His word does not match his words. Number one, he says something but, against what he said in different why, places. Why, why the government of uh, Saudi continue protecting the, 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 this? Because the king himself, they the, will the, kill him if he you know, who there. The king himself, if he say, if, if the king himself, he say Muhammad is not is a fraud, they will cut his head immediately. No, nobody there. <laughs> you are a funny old man. You are a funny old man. Come on. You know who they are. You know, and even the one, even the one who don't believe in Muhammad, he will kill you too, in order to prove that he is a believer. And because it's, uh, you know, everybody is afraid. It's a gang. Mm -hmm. Imagine you are an ISIS member, and then you discover that Muhammad is a fraud. If you scream in the, in the middle of ISIS that Muhammad is a fraud, what they will do to you? They will kill you immediately, right? Yeah, yeah, but maybe, chopping. but maybe you're not the only one there. Maybe there's ten of don't like you, but nobody there. And the ten who don't believe in Muhammad as a prophet, trust me, they will kill you too. Because this is the only way they yeah. prove that they are believers. But even one Sheikh was saying, uh, this shows the miracle of Islam. They know that getting out of Islam, you'll be killed, but still people go to it. So it's a miracle, huh? Mm, yeah. Well, Osman, I want to say thank you, my friend, for uh, for uh, speaking to me. I hope. I was able to help you if you want to accept the Christ yeah, if you have more questions about Christ I will be happy to help you but I invite you yeah, yeah, yeah. to uh, uh, to accept Christ as your Lord as your Savior you know because we don't know maybe tomorrow will not come maybe you and me will die right so I, I invite yes. you I invite you you know I do my duty as a Christian with love to 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 the people as as Jesus order us, because he the, the Lord he loves you. This is why I'm inviting you to accept him as a savior. Yeah, I think I do. You do accept the Messiah as savior. Yes. I mean to that. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. 
Our brother Osman, he called me a few days ago, defending Islam, fighting hard for Islam. Four days after, he accepted the Messiah as his Lord, as his Savior. Osman, do you believe from your heart that the Messiah is your Savior and you have no salvation but by him? Yeah, I, I think yeah, I have this conviction. Yeah, I think I think so. You, so do you say yes? I believe he is my Savior. Yeah. I mean to that. Hallelujah. A happiness, my friend. The Bible says a happiness will be in the kingdom of the Lord for one soul is saved. And today there is a happiness and your name is written in, 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 the, in the heaven of God, in the heaven of the Father, that Osman, the one who was a Muslim, believing in the pagan Muhammad, kissing the black stone of Muhammad, today is saved from the devil and his teaching and he is following the true Messiah as his Lord and as his Savior. And imagine, by the way, I was going to hang up on you. Honest to my Lord, I was going to hang up because I'm, you know, I lost my voice, and I said, "Okay, look like the, this person. He will not." That's it. I'm just, I lost my voice. I was going to say, "Okay, Osman, nice talking to you," and I was I see what she what I said, but I said to myself, "Let me ask him one more time. Maybe the Lord will open his heart, open his eyes, and maybe he will be able to see." And thank you, Lord. I did ask you for the last time. And you accept it because I asked you the same question before you did not uh, you did not accept but now you uh, you agree so I'm so happy for you and the Lord himself he welcome you to his kingdom yeah anything you want to say to people who they are listening for those including the Muslims mm -hmm. but uh, then what should I do yani, for, for me I believe yani, the belief that Jesus told I believe is true uh, then for me as a person what do I need to for you you need to study the Bible you need to read the Bible study it and read interpretation read explanation we you know uh, uh, make a questions get the answers study it very well and know what the Lord he did to you you, you believe in him already but it's not enough just to believe you need to know what the Lord what he want from you you need to follow him you need to so from now on <clears throat> you don't do what the Muslims do you don't pray for stones and you don't go around the stones. You don't worship other gods save God, the one who is the true God. Elohim, our God, Jehovah, Yahweh. You don't worship the moon God of Muhammad. You don't believe in any of the lies of Muhammad and you already you are cleansed from that. And then you, if you want to follow Jesus, you do the order of Jesus. So you don't cheat, you don't lie, you don't fornicate, uh, you don't kill. You don't you, all the, the ten commandment God he gave to Moses as you follow and the most important is remember I said to you the intention yeah okay your intention is about to be is, is it if you are following Jesus it should be the same intention of Jesus to love people around you and to save them the secret my friend is love a person who don't love people he is not yeah, a Christian and I encourage you to read the Bible. You can download it from the internet if you don't have a physical book. Yeah, and I have. I have it already. Okay, that's wonderful. And if you have any questions, I will be happy. There is many brothers they can help you too, to to read the Bible yeah. and to understand it. All right. Okay. Well, I'm happy yeah. for you, Arthman. And I want you now. I you have a mission. I will I will give you a mission to help me. I, I want you to help me. I want you to bring me some Muslims from your country to call us. And so we can save them, my friend. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. When I go back to my country, I will try and even myself teaching people and how Islam is and, uh, the reality from the hadith, from the Quran, because I know hadith, I know Quran, I know, yeah. We need, not only we need to teach them the reality, before we teach, we have to mm -hmm. educate ourselves. Remember, you know, before we open our mm -hmm. mouth, we have to know what we are talking about, right? So I encourage you first yeah. to read the Bible. And for now, if you have some Muslims who want to learn, let them come to me. Enter you already. Let us say when you are ready, I will be happy that you are the person who can take them and you, you are the one who can lead them. Actually, this is a great mission for you to be a person who want to help people from his country to be saved. That's wonderful. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Othman, for calling. I'm happy for having you. And feel free to call me again when you want. Thank you. Thank you. Take care, Othman. Bye-bye.
Actually, I was going to hang up on him because I lost my voice. <clears throat> you can tell. My throat became so dry. And uh, too much talk bring headache to your head. But thank Lord, thank the Lord, we know we, our, our, our talk when, did not go in vain. And uh, not only he left Islam, he accepted the Messiah. Right? <clears throat> now, maybe we should call him a different name from Uthman. I don't know even if he knew what Uthman means. If you want to build a church in your country, my friend, maybe you should call yourself Peter. Be the rock of Christ in your country. And build a church. Right? And the church, many people think that church is a building. Christianity is not about buildings. It's not a cathedral. It is a belief. And the believers so if your name is Uthman which supposedly the wise person but at the same time it have an ugly name ugly meaning which is a kind of a deceiver so his wise is smart but he's a deceiver at the same time so you need to be the wise but not the deceiver don't lie to the Muslims and deceive them to make them believe in Christianity. Tell them the truth. Don't deceive. One of the names actually, or the meaning of the word Uthman, uh, I mean, this is an example how people, they give been given names, but they do not know really uh, what, what they mean. If I am, you know, I will not really call my son such a name. All right. <clears throat> anyway, God is good. I'm happy that today we have Uthman. He he uh, accepted Christ, and his name will not make any different. He can keep his name. As we say, it's the intention of who you are, not a name being given to you. You know what I mean? The devil was not called the devil because the devil name is bad, but because he do bad. So the devil let us say there's a person his name devil and he was a good person then we will not think bad about that, that the person who is the devil it is you who make your name good or bad not the name is given to you right <clears throat> uh, I think we have enough for today I need to rest my voice. I want to say thank you guys for being Usually in Saturday and Sunday, I go in the other account, the quality of life. So maybe later if my voice is not tired, we go again, or maybe tomorrow morning, we go in the quality of life. And for those who do not know uh, how to find the account, I will put it in the screen. This is the quality of life if you care to join us. Uh, thank you all of you. Uh, thank you for uh, the Muslims who call and they do their best to defend their religion. I, I respect that But you are defending your, your defense is in vain because you are defending some something nobody can defend a Person like Muhammad who can defend him you cannot You cannot as simple as that Not a single crime this person did not commit from rape child molestation raping children stealing money lying, fornication, uh, even his followers accuse him of stealing underwear, and this underwear is stolen by them too. Not a single thing, even he said, the, my cousin, he did rape me, but uh, if we ask the Muslim how he did 
either he raped his daughter or he raped him. You tell me which one. Even his family rejected him for he's a bad person. Even his uncles, they were against him. Even the history, the Muslim, they tell us is evil about him. A person who marry a woman way older than him just because she's rich. And then when he got a chance, he advised his men to marry children. He says, you remember the story when he said that to the guy, did you marry a, a, a previously married woman or a virgin? The guy, a virgin child, not just a virgin. The, the man, he says, I marry uh, previously married. He said to him, why? Why you don't marry a young female so she can play with you and you play with her? And this is telling you that Muhammad, when he married Khadija, this is not what he liked just for the sake of her money. Because if you advise people to marry a child so she can amuse you and you amuse her, obviously this is what you like to have and this is what you like to do. And the man, he marry a woman like Khadija. And in fact, she is way younger. Yet Muhammad, he don't approve it. He don't like it. He said to him, why? Why you don't go and get a child so you can play with her? Obviously, Muhammad is mentally ill, mentally sick. He enjoy having a child wife for he is a pedophile. Obviously, there's no way a person who have little brain will advise a man who is already married. He's happy with his wife. He's not complaining. What's your, what's your problem? If the man is already happy, he's not complaining. You see, the guy did not come to Muhammad says, uh, I am married to a woman I don't like. No. Actually, the man is doing the opposite. He was in a rush to go back home. He cannot wait to go back home. And Muhammad said to him, why? Why you marry a woman? She is previously married. Why you don't marry a child? Even in the Muslim translation, they say, why you don't marry a young girl so she can play with you? And then the guy, he said to him, well, I did not marry a young girl because I don't want someone in their age. I want the women to take care of them, the orphan which is left by my brother. So this person, he have a family, children who they need care. So he married a woman, Muhammad, he want him to marry a child. And what the purpose? She could sport with you and you could sport with her or you could amuse you with you and you amuse with her. And then the man, he said to him, well, my brother, he died for the sake of you. And he left me nine or seven daughters, orphans. So I did not approve the idea that I should bring a girl like them, which means they are children like a child like them. I prefer to bring a woman, not a child. How this is a person can listen to for a second? How you can defend such a person? If this is the ethic of the prophet, the best man you have, what is the ethic of the worst man you have? Imagine your son is married to a, your a, 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 somebody married to your daughter, and then a guy meet him in the street. He says, "Why you marry this woman? Why you don't marry a child? Huh? So she can play with you." And what is the excuse? Why he he is making him he, he, to hate his wife for what reason? Just because he want him to get a girl so he can play with her? Are you sick? This man, Muhammad, he have a brain of a teenage. He think he is a child like Aisha. He think he is in her age. He want to play with her. Play with her what? So she can sport with you? Why? Why you don't marry a young girl so that could sport with her? And you could sport with, she could sport with you. Or you could amuse with her and she could amuse you. Hey, you cute. You look how cute she is in her diver. This is what Muhammad is like. So why he married Khadija, the woman, she's way older than him in the age of his mother. Her money. She was the richest woman in Quraysh. Otherwise, this is what Muhammad he like and this is what he did. He married Aisha.
how this is, can be a prophet from God. Could you explain the last line of the hadith? I don't know what you mean. Last line? It's the same. No. They're just making a correction, supposedly, about what is the most, uh, what he think it was the word. So instead saying, you know, so like you play with her and she play with you, you love with her and she love with you. And here, by the way, they are saying, uh, if you read the hadith here carefully, let me let me show you. The man he want to 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 have this women because he wanted somebody to teach them good manner. This is how young they are. You see, and teach them the good manner. So they are obviously they are just a bunch of children. They want somebody to teach them good manner. What Muhammad suggesting is to bring a child. And obviously, she cannot teach anyone good manner because she is a child like them. And this is what the guy said. I prefer to choose not to bring a girl like them. You see it? I, I should bring a girl. This is the, the, the idea that I should bring a girl like them. But I prefer to bring a woman who should look after them. A child cannot look after them. She is a child like them. How we can defend such a man? How we can defend such a manner? This is manner. If this is from, if this is a prophet of God, so what is a scam back is? Thank you guys for being here, and I pray to the Lord that He accept our prayer for those who they are celebrating the Easter according to the Western calendar. You know, uh, I. Uh, I pray that the Easter will be an Easter for you because the Christ already resurrected. We have an Easter. We have to have an Easter in our life, my friend. We have to be ourselves resurrected. We need resurrection. For many of us are walking dead. They are following the word and we are not supposed to. We are deceived, we are lied to. We need resurrection. Today we have Corona, and if you go and see the reason for Corona, you see it because a human being is really became aggressive. He think he is God. People, they are worshiping football. This is why tons of thousands are dying in, in, in Italy and in UK and all the other countries of France, football. For the sake of football, you sacrifice your nation. People worshiping today football, not God. They are willing to kill each other for the sake of a football game. They are willing to beat each other for the sake of football game. They have a new God now. In the old days, they used to worship idols, pagan idols. Now they are worshiping sport games, which is not a sport no more. It's a business. The news is about a girlfriend of a football guy. It's all over the news and everybody want to read it. But nobody want to read the gospel no more. Because we want to know what happened to the girlfriend of the guy. Come on. It's important. So Easter is not a day as holiday. Easter is a day to live. And every day is Easter. A Christian who is a person believing in Christ. He is a person who live the Easter every day. It's not an occasion. This is why for me, actually, celebrating a day is not really important, but celebrating Christ is important. The Messiah, he said, do this to remember me. But we remember him by following his steps. So don't make the Easter as a pagan day, as many people do, where it's just a tradition. We do things, we go to church for half hour, we say a prayer, and then we go back home, but nothing changed in our life. What about we make the day of resurrection a day of our resurrection, where we change for better, where we change and we fight the bad on us? What about we live the resurrection of Christ?
it's going to be a shame that I say I believe, I say I celebrate, I say I am a Christian, I say I follow Christ, but then in real life practice, I do nothing of what Christ said. Zero. So don't be just a Christian by name who claim to be Christian. Be Christian as a Christ like is. That's why he said, Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my Father, but the one who do his will. And the one who do his will is the only one belong to the Messiah. Ask yourself today before you sleep, how many people you brought to Christ? How many people you explained the Bible for them? How many people you tried to save to make them believe in Christ? Even if you did not save them, by the way, but you tried. How many? How many times in your life you tried that? If the answer is zero, obviously you are suffering from a big failure. The bigger the number, the bigger the accomplishment, and the more you are close to the Lord. So if you are a person who believes in the resurrection, then you should practice the resurrection. Resurrection is not only about a person coming from death. You can do that too. You can make a person coming back from death by believing in a false God. Bring him to the true God. Let him see the light of resurrection. Resurrect him. He was dead. Jesus said that the, that the dead bury the dead. What does that mean? Those are dead people. They are dead already. They are carrying they are carrying the coffin of a dead man, but the fact they are dead too. For they are dead in their heart. They are dead in their belief. They are dead, dead in salvation. And they are, dead, they are dead in hope. They are just fake people who claim that they believe in God. So don't be the same as those dead who they are burying the dead. Be a person who bring people to life. For whoever believe in me and die will live, the Lord said. And if you make somebody come to the Lord, letting the Lord use in your mouth and your tongue, you brought people to life. And you did what Jesus did when he brought Elijah from the, from the dead. For death is not a grave. Death is to be away from God, from the truth, or worshipping false idols. That is the real death. So let us practice the resurrection. Today we have a, a brother who became resurrected today. His name is Osman. We pray for him. So what about all of us? We bring many Osman and we resurrect them from the grave. Think about it. Try it and do your best. And don't say, I don't have ability. The Lord will provide you. But be sure always to educate yourself before you open your mouth because you should not speak foolishness about the Lord. You should speak with knowledge. So I advise you all to read, study, research, earn the knowledge, and then use the knowledge you learned to bring people into that knowledge. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. And then we see you again. Christ is Lord and He's always risen. He is always God. He is always in heaven. Before Abraham I am. His birth had nothing to do with his existence. Before Abraham, the Messiah was. And he is the Messiah. Thank you. And God bless you.